Bunga FC, who are the home team, against Pask Langa from Rift Valley or in Eldoret. They are the next team coming up. We already know that Nyakach girls have lifted and won in the uh, ladies category of the Safaricom Chapadimba National Finals. I have the president of the Football Kenya Federation, um, Mr. Honorable Nick Mwendo. Karibu sana to uh, TV47. It is good to have you. Thank you so much for making time. Please share with us this explosive partnership that you have with Safaricom Chapadimba in terms of nurturing football talent from the grassroots. A long and enduring football uh, sometime in 2016, I went to Safaricom and we agreed to embark on developing. Developing, they were not interested at the high end of things. They wanted to continue developing. And eight years later, six editions down the line, you can see today what's happening. Um, 20,000 people in a community final. This is basically a community final. Sio kitu ya kawaida, it doesn't happen. The activation is super. Uh, the people are excited. You know, they've been here since morning. They're not going anywhere for the final. And this is what we need to continue doing for many, many, many years to come. And Safaricom have proven that, you know, it can be done because they're doing it. So our partnership is enduring. It's great for any child who wants to go somewhere and do something in the game. We have seen big names um, come through this tournament. And I'm looking forward to the final because I think in the girls, I've seen two or three who will make in our team. Maybe the coach agrees with me. And I think today I will see another couple who will make in the under 20 or under 17. And that is the big job. The big job is developing new talent. It's never automatic. It's a generation of new players that you create from the grassroots, from Trukana, from Garitha, from Kilifi, and Safaricom are doing it. And of course, this competition has really bolstered uh, and uh, you know, uh, given your coaches, national team coaches, a chance to select. They are spoiled for choice. I spoke to Nick Yahama here. He said they're spoiled for choice in those top players, the best players, uh, and all that. What impact has it had in your national team? Chapadimba always produces at least one star. Every edition, one top star. If you remember Magak, if you remember Omala, it produces one big star that goes on immediately to be signed up. I'm asking myself, who is it this year? But you know, what is important is that the child who doesn't have, I was talking to the governor today, and these kids from Obunga, they go play the whole day because there's no food at home. Now at Chapadimba, they get some kits. You know, they play for something. They get some food. They come and become champions and they can go to Spain. What more can you ask for if you're young and you have an ambition to be big and do something? They always evolve like that. And that's why we like it. it, it it's a festival as well. If you come here, there's music. Uh, the branding is top, you know, and there's many things going on, which is what Safaricom know how to do that we don't know how to do. So I think, I think, I think the execution and the partnership meets at a point, which is almost an inflection point for me because we know the football. They know how to talk to the people and create a festival around it. And Chapadimba, for our young kids, is an example for the future. We are hosting the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations. This is a tournament definitely that is gearing up towards that. It's related to that. What impact will it have? AFCON, AFCON would be great if we had two, three players coming from here. Maybe today we produce one that goes on to become a star in 27. But even if not, the ecosystem that's being built around Chapadimba every year, the key is consistency. No one does it every year. Only Safaricom wants to do it every year. And Peter has told me they want to do it every year for the next 10 years. And of course, and make it bigger because that, that consistency is what produces. If you're not consistent, if you don't do it again and again, it's a waste of time. Doing it once and stopping doesn't yield nothing. And I think they understand that. And I think we do understand that. That's why we do it consistently every year at the federation level. That's why we have all our scouts here. That's why we have our national team coaches here. Because we are serious. 
about development of the young kids in 10 years, in 20 years when you're not here, that's when the results will come. The coaches are also, I understand also, coaches are being trained in this particular forum. Coaches, besides being trained, are being given jobs also to work in that kind of selection. How many coaches, trainings, referees, trainings, other people that are officers around the game production and this kind of thing. This is a training ground if you want to be big. I have seen journalists like you who became commentators from editions of Chapadimba before. So it's the entire ecosystem of the game. There are people here selling drinks, selling soda, selling everything. These people are going home, so they need food. And people have come. So it's an entire economic ecosystem that we activate with this Chapadimba. I'm so pleased and thankful about it. I think next year we go Ahochnaya, and I think in the next couple of years, we make it even bigger than it is today. So we have more participation, so we have expansion to be bigger as a nation from bottom up. Indeed, and of course, the facilities, the infrastructures that we, we have uh, when Chapadimba goes, it definitely uh, puts a lot of, uh, how should I call it, asks the county government to bring up such facilities. Yeah, today I had a conversation with the governor about upgrading this stadium. Because the funds are there, but to have a better experience, you need a better stadium. And so, and that investment is huge. You're talking a $50 million investment to have an A-class stadium. We are not there, Kasarani is being done, Jamuri is being done, but we need that in the regions as well. So are we going to be able to do it? But I'm positive that in five years from today, we'll have several venues where this kind of competition can go to. Today, there are not many. But I think in five years, we have a couple of them that will be ready. And then we're going to be able to use them and have clubs play there. And then that's how it goes. It goes. And of course, uh, I, I was speaking to the CEO, Peter Ndegwa, about uh, how big this thing will be next season. How much involved will he be? Will you be as Football Kenya Federation with Safari Cup? The football is ours. In the next five years, the next ten the years. The football is ours. The, the organization on the football side is what we do. Like I told you, it's an inflection point. They activate... They talk to the people, they communicate their brand, the importance of the tournament. We organize the football, we pick the talent, and we take the talent to the highest level. That's what we do. That's what we know how to do. And I think that, you know, you, it can't be done without either. It's a marriage that everybody has, you know, their place and, and know how to do in their area. And I think that no one knows how to communicate to the people that they do. No one knows the football that we do. And I think it's, it's really a super marriage. And of course, there was this, there is equipment, the catapult GPS vests that the players have been wearing from the regions. And yesterday I was speaking to uh, Velma Award, who uh, is one of the players who has been wearing these vests. And they're, they're very excited about the kind of data that they get from those vests. The coaches are very excited about how they're approaching, they're coaching those kind of vests. Going forward, tech, tech is part of the game now. You should see what the national team coach does with tech, knowing how many minutes, where you passed, how you ran, your heart, how long can you endure. They begin to know that at this age, during our time, this was, you know what it is. So I think that if you invest early enough, then the result will come. What we are doing now, giving it the time and the investment when they are young, and then we watch them grow. And I think part of it is tech, and that's what's happening. I've seen you've trained. Uh, I was looking uh, last time, about two weeks ago, the FKF in uh, Langata and Nairobi West were training coaches, yeah. young, the players who are currently playing or who are Kafdi. finishing. Yes, Kafdi. so that, and I remember they were mentioning that they're training these coaches so that now they can take up responsibilities like this ones because we don't have so many coaches to do that. You, you can't have a school without a teacher. You can't have kids in school without a teacher. So you have to develop the teacher give them the knowledge, and then the kids can learn. And that's what we are doing. We have trained 8,000 coaches across the country. 8,000. CAF D, CAF C, CAF B, and now for the first time, CAF A. Two classes, 100 coaches for the top, top level. And I think that, you know, if we can do this consistently over many years, then you go somewhere. If you cut it, if you stop it, if you don't, if you don't continue, 
then there's no point because you get wasted. That's what Chapadimba is about. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much, President Football Kenya Federation, Nick Mwenda, for making time on our show. Right now, I want to throw you to uh, our commentary team at Radio 47. Uh, down there, I can see Arocho and Ali Kauleni just about to commentate Obunga FC versus Pask Langa. Let's get there. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. Ewe mtizamaji wa TV 47 na Radio 47. Karibu mamboleo ngini kisumu wanjo wa jomo kenyata finali ya safari kwa mchapadimba ambapo obunga wanacheza dhidi ya langa. Kukaribisha ni mie mtoto wa nyumbani Hassan Mwano Ali. Nikiwa na mwenzangu wapa. Uh, Asada kita kabisa mwenzangu Ali Hassan Kauleni. Na kwa mara nyingine msikilizaji ambaye vile vile kwa leo mtazamaji tunakuaribisha tena katika finali hii awamu ya nne dimba hili la chapa dimba e, kikumbukwa tu kwamba mechi ya kwanza ambayo imechezwa hii leo mwenzangu Kauleni Nam. E, wanadada kutoka Nyakach wanaonesha kwa nini Omweri ilitoka Nyakach <laughs> e, manake wameondoka na ushindi mnono wa mabao manne dhidi ya Barcelona kutoka yeah. eneo lile la e, Kati na wengi wao kutarajia kitakuwa kichapo cha magoli manne labda bao moja au mawili lakini Nyakach uh, kama unavyosema Omweri leo imethibitishwa makao ni Nyakach E, ni kweli na ni mechi ambayo mimi mwenzangu kabla tujenge katika finali hii e, ni mechi ambayo e, nilitarajia litara, sana upinzani mkubwa kutoka kwa wanadada hao wa Barcelona kutoka kule e, maeneo ya Nyuki lakini e, ikawezekana tu kwamba dakika 30 za mwanzo wakashikilia lakini baada ya pale e, kukaporomoka lakini kwa mara nyingine kongoli kwa Barcelona kwa kazi nzuri ambayo a, wameweza kuifanya kuweza kufika katika finali zile na vile vile kongole kwa wanadada wa Nyakach E, Nyakach Girls kwa wale ambao labda wafahamu e, Platu ki, e, Queens unatoka kule Nyakach e, ikiwa ni eneo bunge la Nyakach na basi Kongole tu kwa mara nyingine kwa kuweza kulitua taji hili wamejitilia kimindoni shilingi milioni moja na wenzao wa Barcelona wakachukua nusu milioni manake wao ndo nafasi ya kwanza na ya pili na waloshindwa kwenye nusu finali tunaizungumzia Wieta e, waliokota laki mbili na nusu e, na hilo tutalizungumzia kwa kina katika matangazo yetu. Papa Fred, wageni wamewasili tayari kabisa makaribisho na muona afisa mkuu mtendaji wa Safaricom Peter Ndegwa, rais wa shirikisho Nick Mwendwa na Omala unamuona pale mchezaji ambaye haya mashindano yamemlea, yamemkuza na hata nduguye angekuepo akichezea timu ya Ubunga siku ya leo. Ni kweli na nafurahia sana waandalizi wa michuano hii hasa e, Safaricom kwa kuweza kumkumbuka e, bamdogo huyu kwa nini? Kwa sababu kuja kwake kwake hapa e, ni njia tu ya kuweza e, ku e, yani ku, kurudisha mkono hasa kwa mashabiki ambao wame, wame wa, wako wengi sana hapa katika uwanja huu. Vile vile namuona e, naibu wa governor county ya Kisumu e, daktari Owili E, pamoja na wengineo tu wageni ambao wameweza kufika hapa katika hafla hii. Hii ndio gumso la mjini. Haya ni makala ya nne safari kwa mchapadimba kwenye Radio 47 na TV 47. Hassan Mwana wali na Fred Arocho. Arocho labda unauzungumzia una, una, una je umchezo. Manake wengi walibashiri nyakachu wataondoka na ushindi dhidi ya Barcelona na hilo tumeliona. Na mashabiki wengi walofika katika uwanja huu wanaona kwamba hawa obunga wataondoka na ushindi maana ndio wenyeji wa mchuano wa leo lakini mimi ukiniuliza binafsi yangu langa walicheza mchezo wa kupendeza sana nusu finali haswa robo finali walipocheza na Dagoreti kutoka Nairobi ni kweli uh, sikutarajia uh, sikutarajia uh, hawa uh, uh, wana langa kuweza kupata ushindi dhidi uh, 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 ya Dandora ambao walikuwa wanajiita young, young, young kings E, na ushindi huo mimi baada walipoweza kupata ushindi dhidi ya timu e, mwakilishi wa Nairobi nikaona kwamba hawa wa vijana wanaweza na nitawashtua wengi sana katika mechi hii mimi mtizamo wangu ni kwamba hawa wanalanga wataweza kuwanyamazisha wanaobunga kando tuna kwamba kwamba obunga wana mashabiki wengi uwanjani lakini nimeona mechi mbili za hawa wanalanga na ama kwa hakika kitu ambacho niliona na hawa wakilishi wa bonde la ufa kwa mtizamo wangu Hawa ndi wataweza kulitua taji hili. Tumekusha kuviona vikosi vya timzote hizi mbili. Obunga. Kikosi ni kile kile kilichocheza mechao. 
ya nusu finali ila captain wao Tyson aliweza kujeruhiwa amerudi yupo kwenye lile bench na vile vile kijana Jojo Guto ambaye aliukosa mchezo wa nusu finali pia yupo mchezoni kikosi cha Pask Langa Arocho ni kile kile ambacho kilicheza mechi ya robo finali pia nusu finali na hasa hiyo nusu finali walipata ushindi dhidi ya Ebwali mabao manne sufuri kijana anaitwa Brian Shatea Shatea alifunga goli akazalisha pia bao atategemewa sana kwenye huu mchezo Walai, hii ni finali ya finali. Ni kweli, eh, uh, mawasiliano kati ya mchezaji huyo Brian Shitenya, eh, Bonfas Ouko pamoja na Samson Maina pale mbele eh, ama kwa hakika itabidi hawa vijana uh, wa ubunga wawe waangalifu sana. Eh, na vile vile kuna mchezaji ambaye alinifurahisha sana pale katikati eh, Kevin Dirangu eh, ambaye amekuvalia jezi nambari 15. Hawa ndio wachezaji ambao kwa mtizamo wangu E, wataweza kuleta msha, e, msha, wataweza kuleta msisi mko katika mechi hii upande wa wana Pascal Langa hali ya hewa mji wa Kisumu kuna joto jua manyunyu hapa na pale usiku kulikuwa na mvua juzi pia kulikuwa na mvua lakini ni hali nzuri ya hewa mazingira mazuri hawa ndio bunga unaona wanavoshangiliwa kwa kweli na mashabiki walofika hapa wamevalia kijani kama walivovalia kijani mechi yao ya nusu finali papa freda rocho unazungumziaje hali ya hewa mji wa kisumu achambali umati wa mashabiki waliofika uwanjani kitu ambacho kilishangaza sikutarajia hali ya hewa hivi iwe hivi nilidhani e, nyuzi za joto zitakuwa juu zaidi e, matarajio yangu yalikuwa kwamba hapa hata hiyo manyunyu watotoipata mvua haitokuepo lakini ilishangazwa juzi usiku mvua ilinyesha mvua ya ajabu na hali ya anga hasa e, hapa kisumu sio kama kawaida yake E, mara nyingi e, huwa ni joto juu ya joto e, lakini angalau e, ukiangalia hali ya joto kwa sasa labda utaifananisha na jiji la Nairobi kando na kwamba hapa huwa e, hali ya joto huwa iko juu iko juu inachangiwa sana na ziwa Victoria maana tupo katika mji huu wa Kisumu wenye wanasema Alexaid na umemwona mkufunzi Fredo Wino wa kikosi hiki cha Langa siku ya Juma Alhamis tukizungumza naye uh, saa moja hivi Uh, akizungumzia mechi yao ya nusu finali wakati wanakwenda kucheza dhidi ya Ebwali alisema kwamba kocha Ebwali yeye ni wa kuhojiwa studioni mimi ni wa kuhojiwa uwanjani ana vita vikali dhidi ya huyu Evans Okech vita vya makocha unavizungumziaje Rocho wajua alinishtua sana kocha wa timu hii ya, ya Langas e, manake nikana kwamba alikuwa anaona wengine wanaongea sana uh -huh. e, na yeye labda anasema atazungumza uwanjani e, mara nyingi huwa hasemi sana lakini yote tisa kauleni hapa kuna kazi hapa dakika tisini zinazokuja bala bin belua na tisini zikimalizika bila bao mm. tutaingia matuta ya penalti lazima tujue nani anaondoka na milioni moja ndio mwamuzi wa mchezo wa leo yupo chonjo sana Kevin anapoleza kipenga ngoma inaanza Papa Fred Rocho tufungulie ngoma hii naam nitakuwa nakupatia fungo la kwanza e, msikilizaji ambaye vile vile kwa leo mtazamaji ikiwa uh, wenyeji wamekuvalia jezi ya kijani kibichi kaptula wanavaa kijani kibichi stockings vile vile wanavaa kijani kibichi alafu vijana hawa uh, wa Pascal Langa ambao ni wakilishi bonde la ufa wanakuvalia jezi nyeupe kaptula nyeupe stockings vile vile wanavaa nyeupe ikiwa ndo unaungana nasi karibu sana hasa wewe ambaye ni msikilizaji wa Radio 47 na wewe pia ambaye mtazamaji wa Radio 47 Tunakushukuru sana kuweza kuwa nasi manake wewe kuweza kuungana nasi unaipamba na kuifanya radio hii na kuifanya runinga hii kuwa runinga nambari moja nchini Kenya. Na mwenzetu amefanya kazi kubwa sana tunamzungumzia Shadrack. Ndiyo. E, andenga. Naam. Una anapata katika matangazo pia wapo na Michael Were, mimi ni Ali Hassan Kauleni na Papa Freda Rocho. Tony kwa landa amefanya kazi nzuri amemhoja afisa mkuu mtendaji wa safari kwa mdegwa rais wa shirikisho naibu gavana wa hapa tumekuwa naye tangu juzi tumezunguka mikahawa mbalimbali mbali. yule kijana ni mchapa kazi e, kikosi ambacho kilisafiri e, hapa Kisumu kikosi cha kutoka Cape Media ama kwa hakika hata mwenze, e, mwenzangu Albanas mm. e, amefanya kazi nzuri Socks ameivuta juu kabisa tayari kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba file yake inakuwa e, e, haina madoa wanapiga kwa tena ugubunga kwenye lango nje inakuwa ni goal kick aliingia kule kuna mchezaji beki wa timu hii ya Obunga yuko chini kama sijakosea Duncan Ouma alienda chini shambulizi la kwanza hilo 
na umeona kilichofanyika goalkeeper huyo Eli Karanja wa timu ya Langa hana raha na mabeki wake manake walimwachia karne nzima peke yake akaingia pale sandukuni chance ya kwanza vijana hawa wa ubunga na uliona uwanja ulisimama walifikiri kwamba ndio bao la kwanza wanalipata hii inakuonesha kwamba wasipomtunza ni hodari sana huyo kijana alisumbua sana mechi ya nusu finali katikati mwa uwanja wanatamalaki wana Pascal na mbona Dennis Okano na, na alikosa mechi ya nusu finali uh -huh. e, anaitwa George Ogutu e, ni mchezaji pia wa timu ya Mofa kwa hiyo hakuepo kutokana na majukumu hayo mengine unajua Mofa pia inahusishwa na captain wa Rambe Stars Michael Olunga ndio e, tuone mambo yatakuwaje ngoma inaanza tena kwenye lango la timu ya Langa School kichwa kinaita anacheza vizuri kabisa pale e, kijana huyu Alex Kasundi wanatamalaki tena o, 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 vijana hawa e, wa ubunga e, ni mechi ambayo bado haijapata makali tamalaki Samson Maina regesha nyuma anampisha beki mwenza yule Michael Okoth ambaye anabadilisha matulinga yaja kwenye lango huku lakini wangu wangu atokeza pale Duncan Ouma na kuweza kutoa ule mpeleni wa hatari na mwenzangu ni mechi ambayo kwa mtizamo wangu kando na kusema kwamba nimeshuhudia anavocheza mwana Langa wale timu ambayo itakuwa na wachezaji ambao wana uzoefu mno e, katika mechi hii ndio wataweza kutamalaki wanasema nini unajua kiwango kama hichi katika finali kama kuna mchezaji ambaye amecheza mechi ambayo ina uzito kama huu wawe ni wawili watatu watainua sana kikosi chao watainua na hilo litaonekana sana na niliwaona hawa Langa walivocheza mechi yao ya robo finali nilifikiri ni fluke dhidi ya Dagoreti lakini haswa walipocheza dhidi ya Ebwali nikaona hawabahatishi walipiga mpira wa kupendeza pasi za hapa na pale kwa hiyo nafikiri watasumbua sana na nafikiri wanapata kona ya kwanza sikiza kona dakika hiyo ya tatu. E, anapata kona tena hapa e, mwana Langa yaja lakini goalkeeper anaipokea bila jasho kutoa jasho pale Odek William kiwiko cha mguu wa kulia ana mimi na ngizi yaja katikati huko E, kumbuka kwamba timu hii ya Ubunga asilimia sabini ni ya wachezaji ambao wanatoka katika eneo hilo la Ubunga hapa jijini Kisumu. E, manake kuna eneo la Ubunga hapa Kisumu baadhi tu ya maeneo ambayo e, inachipuza vipaji. E, na basi tuone leo itakuwaje. Anakuja kupiga goal kick ile. E, anatokeza nyuma kiwiko cha mguu wa kulia kinaleta Anthony Amadi kwa kichwa tuliza kiwiko hicho cha mguu wa kulia kinatanua uwanja tamalaki kule tatari kwenye lango kule Anthony Amadi Amadi anapekecha miguu yake anasakamwa lakini wanajimudu vizuri kabisa pale Dennis Okano pamoja na mwenzake de, eh, David eh, Nganga eh, manake mabiki hawa eh, wametamalaki sana hapa Yaja kwenye lango la timu ya Ubunga huko. E, lakini anasimama Tisti Brian Otieno Amos. Ulisema kwamba leo mashabiki watakusame Langa itaunyamazisha uwanja. Eh, wa, 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 wachukue hilo la kinadada na <laughs> wavulana waliache. Eh, eh, Anakuwa shachukua la kinadada nyakachi. Naam. Eh, eh, eneo la Nyanza watanisame. Eh, ni 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 ni, 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 ni maoni yangu tu. Maana vile nivoona hawa wana Langa kucheza katika mechi zao zilotangulia na vile vile pia nimemtizama mwana ubunga kicheza hasa e, ukikumbuka kwamba e, katika e, mechi zao za kuwahi e, e, eneo la Nyanza e, walifunga mabao kibao lakini ukiangalia katika kucheza kwao katika michuo mchuano huwa e, wa, wa kitaifa hawajaweza kufunga nadhani pia wanamkosa e, mchezaji wao Mala ambaye a, yuko kule mali na badala yake ndugu yake ndio yupo akiwa mgeni Inaletwa kule kwenye lango la timu ya Obunga kule nani? Inakuwa ni kona ama mm. goalkeeper eh, goal kick goal eh, referee Ashiria. Eh, walipata ushindi jana Goruma ya dhidi ya Zoya. Na alikuepo huyo Benson Omala tumemwona miongoni mwa wageni waliofika. Tunataja vipaji ambavyo vimekuzwa kutokana na mashindano haya. Eh, waangalie kina wanyama, waangalie kina Sheikh wangu timu zetu za kina dada Papa Freda Rocho. Mm. Na, na nafikiri baadhi tumeona walikuwa kule Talanta Hela kule Hispania na wamerudi wapo hapa. Analeta kule Amadi. Anapiga bao hapa dakika ya sita. Mwenyeji Obunga anapata bao mtazamaji. 
Walilaza damu pale mabeki hawa wa Pascal Langa. Akasua sua na mpira Alex Kasundi. Mpira unamtoka mguuni unajaza kamba. Obunga moja Pascal Langa sufuri. Kauleni kazi ipo. Kazi ipo papa Fred. Uh, naweza nikasema kwamba tangu mapema ilikuwa kama dakika sita uliona goalkeeper huyu wa Langa kijana ili Karanja aliwaonya wachezaji wake haswa wale wa nyuma kwa kuzembea na si kwamba tu alizembea walikuwa wakatua wamemwachia kijana uh, ogutu akaingia pale mlangoni jezi nambari 13 lakini mara hii anafunga bao yule yule mchezaji waliolalama ni kwa nini waliacha unakumbuka alipiga mpira ukaenda juu wakati ule tukazungumza ile nafasi aliyopoteza na na, na ni mchezaji hodari sana hakucheza mechi ya nusu finali maana nilikuwa nazungumzia maswala yeye kuwepo na na ile timu ya Mofa sijui aliupiga ule mpira sijui kama walijifunga wenyewe naona ni kama kama wamejifunga wamejifunga maana alikuwa anaichonga ile sio ndio na, naona ni kama eh manake taswira hiyo ah na, na, na kama unakumbuka hawa vijana wa Bunga tulikuwa tunazungumza nao papa Fred Arocho uh -huh. na wakatuonesha style ambazo wamefanya rehearsal uh -huh. watasherekea vipi bao na tumeona wakisherekea bao lake ugutu dance moja kali sana haya shambulizi nyingine anapiga Bunga e, dakika hizi nane E, obunga moja Pascal Langa sufuri aja bado tutaenda kule namna gani da kuna tetema kuna tetema mtazamaji msikilizaji e, obunga ataki machezo hapa aliingia kwenye eneo pale e, mchezaji huyo jezi nambari tatu e, utamuita Victor Cheng lakini basi e, aliweza kutafuta fataki lakini haikuingia mahala pake mpira unaenda nje Kauleni itabidi Pascal Langa awe mwangalifu dakika hizi zinazokuja kama tano kumi hivi kwa sababu Obunga e, akiweza kupewa motisha na mashabiki ni mwepesi mno bado nini anaingia kule lango kule tena mwana Obunga pekecha chikicha nini inaletwa nje okay. kumbuka shughuli hii inakujia kwenye Runinga TV 47 na Radio 47 Papa Fred Arocho akiwa nami Hassan mwana wali na haya ni sikutarajia kwamba Obunga watacheza kiasi hiki Arocho manake amekuja mnyama tofauti sana Obunga baada ya kupata lile bao nilitarajia kwamba Langa atamka kutoka usingizini lakini dalili zinaonesha kwamba Obunga ndiye anayetafuta bao la pili kwa udi na ambari kuliko langa mwanzo uh, obunga amempokonya langa uh, pumzi Nam. Uh, na uh, kupo, kue, kueza kupoteza pumzi dakika hizi za mapema mapema uh, kidogo kitamponza mwana langa itabidi waweze kuwa watulivu angalau waweze kukata makali ya mwana obunga kabla uh, kuweza kupata bao lingine Kumi dakika uh, uwanja umejaa hadi pomoni mtazamaji kama unavyoshuhudia wewe ambaye unatizama na wewe msikilizaji wa Radio 47 e, tunazidi kujuza kwamba uwanja huu mara ya mwisho umejaa hivi ulikuwa ni katika finali za kombe la Sekafa e, wakati timu ya taifa ya Kenya walipopiga dhidi ya timu ya taifa ya Uganda e, na lakini na basi leo e, barabara zote hapa jijini Kisumu e, zimeelekea hapa e, mambo leo na mashabiki wameacha biashara zao wameacha kazi yao ili kuja kushuhudia na kauleni ni kitu kingine ambacho kiwa kinanifurahisha sana e, inanionyesha kwamba sio kwamba mashabiki wa Kenya hawapendi kambumbu e, labda wakati mwingine ni lahadha tu ile ambayo wanapata ndio e, inawakosea lakini mashabiki iwe ni Kenya hasa magharibi mwa Kenya huku wanapenda sana ka, kandanda tuliona wakati wa mashindano ya shule za upili pale Bohongo hali ilivyokuwa Sekafa ile unayozungumzia hapa Kisumu na Bohongo tuliona haya mashindano ya Chapadimba na Safari kwa mnazungumzia vijana sozidi miaka ishirini uwanja ulifurika kuanzia sanne walikuwa tayari wanasubiri nusu fina, finali ya kinadada kwa hiyo ni hamu ipo alafu pia usahau kitu kingine kwamba mwaka juzi na jana haya mashindano ya kuepo kutokana na janga la corona kwa hiyo kuna kiu fulani na madereva wengi huku watu mbalimbali mbali, biashara zimesimama kama ulivyosema boda boda yani kila moja yupo hapa katika uwanja wa mambo leo na kwa kika kama hii mechi itaendelea hivi mpaka dakika tisini hii ni ladha inake dakika inakatika 
sekunde ya hamsini ya chungulia. Ikiwa ndo naungana nasi ndani ya Radio 47. Mimi ni wako arocho, diko na mwenzangu hapa laki ariano. Uh, na mwenzangu hapa ali Hassan Kauleni. Laki ariano na chunga nyumba eh, jijiku kule. Na wewe ambao natutizama eh, kupitia runinga eh, ya TV 47. Tuna kushukuru tena sana manake eh, leo unaipamba sana matangazo. Bila shaka, tupo mjua kisumu, kisumu dala. Eh, arocho amenifunza wa mweri. Eh, na pio linambia tukija tutasemaje. Yo Kisumu wabiro. Eh. Pedurumos. Santa. Yanu naweleza wana Kisumu. Kwamba wewe ukonjiani waja. Na sasa tumetua. Watulia na tumetua. Aero kamano. Katikati ya natamalaki obunga. Kevin eh, Kiwiko Chamgua kulea. Kijana Anthony Amadi. Kumtafuta Brian Omondi. Anakosa kuwajibika kuna ikabu. Refari anasema tuende. Shambulizi nyingine Pascal Langa. Devin Nganga. Antanua wancha kule kumtafuta Benson Adamu. Adamu. Adamu na mwaya, ya aja, nini, atari, abe, 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 goalkeeper na ganda nao. Cheza vizuri kabisa pale goalkeeper. E, kijana Odek William. Ni baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wanacheza kandanda yao hapa jijini mumba, eh, jijini kisumu. E, goalkeeper huyu Odek William. E, na basi, amekuwa mtulivu mno. Kukikisha kwamba ngoma ile, anaitama laki. Ikiwa ndo basi, muanza unafungulia runinga yako. Ama ikiwa ndio mwanzo unafungulia radio yako. E, basi radio 47 na TV 47. Leo uh, ndio ile siku. E, tutajua mbivu na mbichi. Nani ataondoka na milioni moja. Nani atakuwa goalkeeper bora. Atatangazwa hapa mfungaji bora. Tutamjua. Mchezaji bora wa mashinano haya. Tutamjua. Na itatajwa pia urodha. Ya walo wachezaji wataka ukwenda kule uh, Hispania. Ndam. Kuna safari yeti. Santa. Eh, anza kuisafisha visa. Eh, au pasipoti. Eh? Bala. Muna coach pale wa Langa. Uh -huh. Hakutarajia joto litakuwa hivi. Mwona menyanyuka. Eh, Na mabidi. ni nadra sana katika michi hizi ambazo tumeshudia hapa. Yeye kunyanyuka. Leo naona menyanyuka manake. Wanasema lisilikuwa na budi. Hubidi. Haya. Kitu kinatulia. Katikati, anataleza angani kule kijana yule Joseph eh, Mwetho, Brian Aduma, kulia. Beki wa kupana la kushuka yule, na hana lingine la kulegesha nyuma. Eh, kidogo wa meanza kutulia. Eh, sasa wanaanza kutulia. Langa. Na ndo kitu mbacho nilisema mwenzangu kauleni, kwamba ikiwa langa anta kurejea katika michi, akae na muundo wake wa mchezo. Manake mara nyingi langa huwa hawapuri. Lakini kuna wakati baada ya lile baula kwanza, eh, ali, alianza kupura. Na ukaona kwamba e, ikamchanganya lakini sasa tunaanza kumshuhudia Langa akirejea na machenga yake. Lango la timu ya Ubunga la Sakamu kule. Offside. Da, mm. lakini kipa alikuwa ameuchukua. E, kipa da ameuchukua lakini kama tunavyosema ka, Kauleni sasa lang, e, Pascal Langa anarejea. Ah ameanza kurejea. Maana sasa ile ngoma yake gonga gonga tunaanza kushuhudia. Na ndio akicheza tu mpira wake huu wa gonga gonga Ata msumbua sana mwana mbunga. Na kata dakika kuminatano. Fungo la kwanza hilo dalitamatisha. Radio 47 na TV 47. Arocho na Ali Hassan Kauleni. Nikimpisha Amope. Akupe fungo hilo la pili. Kutoka hapa jijini kisumu. Tunasema kisumu pacho. Asante surambayaro safi. Laduma mwenyewe. Burudari hina kujia kutoka jiji hili la kisumu. Dala. Robosa ya kwanza imekwisha kumalizika kama unaofuatilia kwenye TV 47 walovalia kijani ndio wenyeji obunga walovalia nyeupe mfano wa bafta pepepe pe ile hawa unaona ndio Pascal Langa kutoka uasinikisho timu hizi zinatokea mitaa kama hawa obunga wanatokea mtaa wa mabanda wa obunga kocha wao alisema kwamba ule ugumu wa maisha unawafanya wajisukume zaidi wa uokote hii milioni moja na ukiangalia historia ya Kabumbu Nenda Brazil, nenda Argentina, unakuta ile mitaa ya mabanda Ndiko wanakotokea wachezaji wazuri, wakicheza ule mpira wa karatasi ile chandimu e, Hata Kenya kule kina landmai walikuwa wanapiga kina wanyama, kina mariga e, Ndiko wanakotokea manyata, tumaona timu ilo shiriki pia mashindano ukanda huo eneo hili Golkipa huyo atafanya kazi kubwa sana kama wataondoka na ushindi vijana wa ubunga kwenye mchezo wa leo anaitwa Odek William. Ana makeke sana nilimuona mechi ya nusu finali dhidi ya Bandari Youth. 
na kuna wakati mpaka hata alimkemea referee Uh, ana makeke kweli naam uh, lakini leo itabidi awe mtulivu kwa sababu ikiwa atajaribu hayo uh, ya nusu finali uh, basi anaweza ambulia uh, ama anaweza changia kadi yake nyekundu maana nadhani pia wa marefari unajua una huo anazungumza pamoja uh, kwamba unaingia kwenye finali wachezaji hawa na hawa ndio mara nyingi huwa wanaleta bugda haya anakula nao mpira omondi rogers Anaweka sandukuni unazuia ule mpira. Chesa rafu. Oh, tutaona labda kadi hapa. Labda tayona kadi. Wachezaji wawili wa ubunga wapo chini. Wachezaji wawili wa ubunga wapo chini. Omondi ndo unamuona anagaga chini. Uh, alichukuliwa angani Omondi. Uh, unaona na ushika mguu wake. Na nikukumbushe tu kwamba captain wa ubunga Tyson Murioki alijeruhiwa kwenye mechi ya nusu finali wakicheza dhidi ya Bandari Youth na hakumaliza huo mchezo. Angalau leo tunamuona kwenye lile bench. Uh, Wasiwasi ulikuwa mashabiki wa ubunga kwamba huenda Uh, asiwepo hata kwenye lile bench uh, lakini yupo kwenye bench badiliko moja walilofanya kijana Ugutu uh, ukiondoa hilo la jeraha ni Ugutu kuingia mchezoni uh, ule mguu unavozungushwa unatia wasiwasi kumbuka ukitaka kupata ile wenyewe wanakuitia local content Uh, unatembelea wafuti wa www.bez.co.ke ama unabonyeza star 544 star double five hash star 544 star double five hash alafu uh, utaweza kuona content ya humo nyumbani kwenye bez ndio amekula kadi ya manjano lakini ukiniuliza mimi mtazamaji Uh, naona alocheza rafu pale ni Onyango Samson. Uh, lakini uh, Samson Onyango aliingia mechi ya nusu finali alipojeruhiwa Tyson Murioke kwa hiyo ameuanza huu mchezo. Na badiliko jingine ambalo pia tumeliona ni badiliko kubwa sana la Jojo Goto kuanza huu mchezo taratibu matangazo ya kabumbu yaliokwenda shule kumbuka tunatangaza hatuimbi sio eh, eh, referee hapa anagonga ndipo nilikubaliana naye kwamba Samson Onyango ndiye eh, alocheza visivyo na alikula kadi ya manjano mechi ya nusu finali Leo pia anakula nusu finali kwenye mchuano huu ikiwa ni dakika ishirini mji huu wa Kisumu. Ikiwa ni dakika ishirini. Obunga bao moja langa sufuri. Hii ni finali Chapadimba na Safaricom. Haya yakiwa makala ya nne Hassan Mwana Ali na Frida Rocho Radio 47 na TV 47 na Frida sana Safaricom kuandaa shughuli kama hizi burudani kama hii na matangazo kama haya Kumbuka tunatangaza na pia tunazalisha matangazo haya e, wanafanya shambulizi langa mlangoni kijana Samson e, anaziwa kule na Billy na anaotoa ule mpira sasa nizamu ya ubunga anakwenda kasi lakini anazuiwa e, Omondi unaambiwa unakwenda wapi na kijana huyu Mike Okoth Papa Freda Rocho ndio kijana Samson Onyango alikula kadi ya manjano alipoingia baada ya Tyson Muruke kujeruhiwa captain yule kwenye rosu finali leo pia amekula kadi ya manjano kucheza visivyo lakini ulikuwa umekwenda kumtafuta manake tunatangaza na pia tunazalisha matangazo kwenye radio 47 na TV 47 ulikuwa umekwenda kumtafuta mchoa kazi the legend mwenyewe Peter Dao 
e, ambaye pia anayafuatilia mashindano yamemkuza alikuwa katika ule uwanja mwingine wa Moi Dio. kuangalia ile shughuli tupige naye gumzo e, Peter Chengdao karibu sana ndani ya Radio 47 na TV 47 Asante sana bwana Rocho Naam Peter e, kwanza tuna tunakuenzi e, kwa yule labda faida ya msikilizaji ama mtazamaji ambaye labda amfahamu Peter Chengdao wakati Gormaia walipotamba mwaka wa 87 jamaa ambaye alifunga mabao kibao mfungaji bora mwaka huo e, ndio tuko na ndani ya studio na basi kwa sasa yuko pa Kisumu Peter Chengdao dakika zimepigwa 22 labda kwa faida ya msikilizaji ambaye vile vile mtazamaji e, mtazamo wako dakika hizo ambazo zimechezwa Ah kidogo naona hii game uh, vile ilianza uh, kwa matarajio ya fans ilikuwa timu ya Eldoret Langas uh, ilikuwa na game nzuri sana uh, according to fans jana lakini ukiangalia saa hizi hizo dakika zimeenda mm -hmm. timu ya bunga kidogo iko mkono juu eh, kidogo wale kidogo naona mmempoteza fahamu kidogo sasa sijui kwa nini sasa labda kwa kocha wao anaweza kutuambia hiyo na wewe e, mimi ni mmoja wa wale ambao e, nilipokuwa naingia katika studio kuweza kutoa e, matangazo haya ama kupeperusha matangazo haya mimi nitarajia Langas waweze kumdhibiti ama kuweza e, kutamalaki katika mechi hii dhidi ya, ya Ubunga wewe kama e, mtu ambaye amecheza wadhani ni nini ambacho labda kocha Ubunga aliweza kufanya kiasi cha kwamba kipindi hichi e, cha kwanza Ubunga wako juu ila kitu nimeona unajua hii timu ya Langas wako wazuri sana kwa midfield lakini kitu yule kocha amejaribu size ukiona bunga wakicheza size hizi wana void midfield wanatumia flanks ndio kwa sababu wameza hii timu nyingine ndio haya huyo ni Peter Na, kabla kabla hajaondoka Ah endi yuko nasi mpaka mwisho. Eh. eh ah. Okay, tuna wageni mbalimbali tutakao tunapiga nao gumzo na haya matangazo na ufanisi huu wa safari kwa mchapa dimba Peter Dao wanasema watu kwamba katika uchezaji wako wa mpira wote mabao yako yote yalikuwa ya kichwa nawaambia hapana lipo goli moja yapo mawili dawa alitumia mguu kuna goli ya kabla onge eh. nakumbuka bao lake moja kule Tunisia eh, bao la pili wakati Gormai walisawazisha manake eh, Gor walifunga eh, Zamale kwa kafu kasawazisha Esperance kumradhi wakasawazisha alafu kapiga la pili bao lake Peter Chengdao bao la kusawazisha mbili mbili ndio bao pekee ndio bao ambalo mimi nakumbuka alipiga kwa mguu ndio hiyo arochi umesema ukweli uh, ni bao moja hiyo tu imefungwa kwa miguu hiyo bwana Rocho Il, ilikuwaje pita dao yani wewe ulikuwa upati mipira ya hapa chini ama ulikuwa ukipata unainua juu ah ile kwa nafikiria wale team team wangu walikuwa wanatoa crosses juu sana lakini kwa anajiposition vizuri siko anapoteza chance yote kwa anafunga kabisa hivyo siri, siri nini kuwa mfungaji mzuri jana tumeona wachezaji na mpaka sasa hizi utaona anapata chance kwenye nafasi anapiga kichwa labda kinaenda wide na kwenda pembeni siri ya kutumia kichwa dao nini asiri ni kuja kuna maneno matatu kwanza lazima ujiposition vizuri pili lazima uruke ya tatu yule jamaa anatoa cross lazima toe cross vizuri Wow. Timing pia Timing. lazima uwe nayo. Santa. Lazima lazima. Hero kamano. Hero kamano. Asante sana huyo tumekuwa naye ni Peter Chengdao na pia baadaye tutamtafuta tafuta aweze kutueleza mengi. Kumbuka matangazo haya tutakuwa tunakaribisha karibisha, karibisha eh, baadhi ya wageni ambao tuko nao hapa Magwiji ambao watakuwa na tusaidia saidia kuweza eh, kuchambua chambua na vile vile kutoa maoni kuhusu kandanda ya Kenya kwa jumla. Asante sana Peter Chengdao. Walikuwa na kuita Umuga. Kwa nini walikuwa na kuita Umuga? Unajua vile Rhino Pias. Mimi kwa na Pias through wachezaji kama Rhino. So Rhino ni Umuga. Um, uh, Rhino ni Umuga. Santa. Asante sana Umuga. Huyo ni Umuga Chengdao. Uh, Wanaingia lele goalkeeper anachukua. Asante sana huyo ni Gwiji Peter Uchengdao. Eh, wengine labda wamfahamu kwa napiga mabao kupitia vichwa. Asante sana. Gorma ya mwaka wa 87 mtazamaji msikilizaji huyu alikuwa mfungaji hapana machezo. Kauleni ukimuona utadhani labda tunijize jize tu. Na, na, the, 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 the boy has maintained himself. Eh, fitness ile. Eh, the physique. Eh, physique bado wana, ipo. Uwezi baadhi ya wachezaji wengi eh. wameumwa na na nyuki. <laughs> Kauleni <laughs> toka hapo. Sawa. Nimekubali nimejiondoa. Asante sana dakika 26 mchuano unapendeza finali hii kutoka mjini Kisumu. Bado anaongoza vijana wa Bunga bao lake Ogutu George ilikuwa mapema sana ile dakika sita Radio 47 na TV 47 Mbashara ukipenda live toka Dala uh, sema ero kamano watu wa Kisumu mapokezi mazuri sana 
anautoleza kijana Dennis weka mrefu kumtafuta Aduma inazua ile ngoma sasa na uwai Sam Onyango chenga inakubali katikati anapigwa kiatu faul ile uh, na muuliza referee una kadi mimi ulinipa kadi referee uh, referee anamwambia subiri uh, referee anamwambia fanya subira haya ni matangazo full entertainment full mwenjoyo kwa isani ya safaricom hali ya hewa inabadilika kidogo kuna mawingu naanza kuyaona kwa mbali Mawingu naanza kuyaona kwa mbali na labda umekuwa ukipata tabu unatumia ile simu inaitwa ya Katululu. Sasa hivi Safaricom wanakupa mkopo ndio eh, wa kuipata simu ya kisasa. Eh, unabonyeza star uh -huh. 544 hash. Eh, alafu unaingia pale kwenye lipa mdogo mdogo. Ala. Eh, yaani wewe unachukua mkopo wa kulipa simu na unapata simu ambayo ya kisasa. Ya kisasa. Una stream sasa hivi Radio 47 TV 47 kiwango cha digital unayapata ya matangazo kitu digitali na papa Freda Rocho naona umekuja na mgeni kitu digitali eh tuko na kitu digitali eh kutoka nchi gani rangi ya pesa eh <laughs> rangi ya pesa eh labda um, um, welcome to radio 47 and tv 47 thank you so much i'm so excited to be here tell us uh, who are we talking to and where do you come from My name is uh, Kay uh, Orlandi. I am part of the Safaricom team. We're one of their advertising agencies. Um, and we've been working and partnering with them to help bring Chapadimba to life and it's just so great. It's my first time in Kisumu City. So you're so excited. Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> so you you say first time to be in Kisumu City. Yes. So you are which which your home country? My home country is South Africa. I come from Cape Town. I arrived in Nairobi on Wednesday morning and we've just been going around meeting people. Got here this morning and this has been the highlight. How, how about football? You've seen any Shibobo? I, of course Shibobo, <laughs> but this is just so great. I mean the Queens earlier today they were fantastic. It's just exciting, wonderful to see the energy, meet all of the people. This how is how about the turnout, the crowd? The crowd is incredible, the energy. Everyone's been so welcoming. It's just been a dream come true. Eat and fish, eat and some fish around Not here. Yet. We're going. We're so hungry. We're ready to go and eat the tilapia. <laughs> Now, I picked something about your name. You said uh, what's your name again? K K A Y. My surname is Orlandi. This Orlandi seems to be coming from Kenya? No, I wish it did, but no. Orlandi is from an old story. That's for another day. Maybe not Radio 47 story. Cuz here in Kisumu we have Orlando. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for okay. visiting our studios and once again welcome to Kenya and feel free. This is the home of happy people. Absolutely. Ah, yeah. The best people ever. Thank you so much. Tuendele na ngoma dakika 30 ana utoleza vizuri ule mpira. Kole Soteno unatiwa mkubwa kule mbele anaojibu tena kijana Nganga Nganga wanakwenda nao taratibu sandukuni anaupoteza Aduma kwenye mdwara wa kati dakika 30 obunga moja langa sufuri anaucheza vizuri sana Omondi Armstrong anautuliza utarushwa kuelekezwa lango la langa aliucheza jezi nambari tano anaitwa Okoth Mike huyu ndiye coach Fred Owino wa kikosi cha langa hana raha usoni lakini anatazama kopo lake la saa anajua muda upo kuliregesha ili goli mechi yao ya robo finali walitangulia kufungwa wa langa dhidi ya Dagoret Youth lakini wakarudi na wakapata ushindi dede ya ibwali nusu finali waliondoka na ushindi wa manne bado muda unao hali ya hewa inabadilika hapa Kisumu naona mawingu yametanda angalia umati wa mashabiki waliofika kufuatilia ngoma hii kipa eli odek william ameweka mkubwa shukran thank you very much ero kamano kuichagua radio 47 na tv 47 jumapili hii yenye historia awami ya nne makali ya safari kwa mchapa dimba anafikia kikomo tutajua nani ndiye goalkeeper bora 1050 mchezaji bora 1050 mfungaji bora 1050 timu bora 
milioni moja na wale wachezaji watakao cheguliwa kwenda Hispania ndio itachezwa foul kuelekezwa mlango wa vijana wa Langa anaweka chini kucheza ule mpira anaitwa Duncan Ouma jezi nambari mbili anaonyonyiza maji ya zamzam golini kule kichwa maridadi goalkeeper anakataa ha cheza kwa kweli Eli Karanja anawanyima bao la pili anawanyima bao la pili Aya dakika ya 33 hali ya hewa inabadilika mjini Kisumu hapa kuna dalili ya mawingu dalili ya mvua Hapa leo ndio leo langa sufuri obunga bao moja anaingia pigwa kiatu lakini anawahi mpira ugutu lango aha offside ile Arocho hali ya hewa inabadilika mjini Kisumu. Eh bana nikana kwamba tuna tutashuhudia mvua hapa. E, na basi usisahau msikilizaji ambaye mtazamaji wa Radio 47 wakati wa halftime e, tutakuwa naye mshambulizi wa Harambe Stars e, ambaye tayari ameingia ndani ya studio. Ananiambia Arocho niko ndani. Kijana wa hapa Kisumu e, tutakuwa naye e, Omala hapo baadaye aweze kusema moja mawili. E, Maana najua pia kuna wale ambao wangependa kusikia za sauti yake maoni yake kuhusu yale ambayo yanaendelea hapa maana yeye e, ni baadhi ya wale ambao wamefaidika e, na hii e, safari kwa mchapadimba maana hapa ndio kazaliwa kikandanda ama vipi kauleni na nakumbuka tulikuwa naye studio zetu za radio 47 ilikuwa msimu jana kikaribia kuondoka na golden boot e, alafu pia tatueleza e. kama arocho alilipa kama kulipa pia watasema maana wengine hutoa ahadi na hawalipi na hawatimizi obunga papa fred arocho Nilijisahau nikamaliza 15. Aha. Nikiangalia kushotoni kwangu sikuoni ikabidi niendelee. Tembea. Wacha basi nipige shuhul mpaka half time. Alafu nitampisha mwenzangu Kauleni. Tuko naye eh, Benson Omala eh, mshambulizi wa Gormahia. Eh, tuko naye hapa na itabidi akae nasi mpaka half time ili aweze kutupatia maoni yake. Kijana baadhi ya vijana ambao mimi na wenzi sana maana ni mtu ambaye ni mtulivu, ni mtu ambaye ana nidhamu na hiyo basi imemwezesha sana kuweza uh, kuendelea kikandanda dakika 34 msikilizaji mtazamaji radio 47 tv 47 hali ya anga inazidi kwe, e, e, kauleni hapa vile na alafu unajua tuko karibu na na ziwa na, na hapa mvua ikinyesha huwa ni kama ziwa inatapika kwa, kwa hiyo utasemaje advantage obunga advantage langa hii sidhani sijui itakuwa ni advantage kwa nani. Manake mimi kabla ya hii mvua uwanja umekubali. Sehemu ya kuchezea shwari kweli kwel, mashabiki wamefurika lakini wanaanza kutafuta vivuli sasa. Haya. E, na basi kwa hali tu ya anga ikiwa mvua itanyesha uwanja huu e, ni uwanja ambao e, kwanza tungependa kuipatia shukran e, county hii ya Kisumu manake e, wameweza e, kuweka uwanja kwa hali nzuri sana. Manake hata mvua ikinyesha hapa bado kutachezeka sio kama viwanja vingine ambavyo sitazitaja hapa mvua ikinyesha ni mambo ya modogodhanio 15 dakika zinasalia dakika kumi e, kabla ya half time ikiwa ubunga e, moja pascal langa sufuri e, na basi ai mvua inatutishia hapa e, lakini tunajua mvua napiga dua tu mvua isinyeshe bwana manake alhamis tulimaliza bila tafash ijumaa bila tafash Jana bila tafash jana tafash tu eh. jana tafash tu ni wale jamaa eh. ambao wali, waliniwahi eh, walikushika eh, ufukoni wali eh, jamaa eh, omala bana sina simu yangu eh. baada ya watu hapa Kisumu kunikaribisha eh. lakini ya tutaongea baadaye mizuka inakuja lango la eh, obunga la sakabo kule nini kona ile la haula wala kuata anacheza vizuri kabisa pale goalkeeper eh, anabingirisha mpira nje Eh, Odek William. 
na anakaa msudi sudi huyu yeah. kemo chake pia ukikiangalia maana kichwa kilipigwa na huyu Boniface Ouko jezi na 17 unaona ndio ah lakini inaonekana ni ilikuwa offside eh, wanasema hivyo lakini tumeona anapiga goal kick haraka haraka wanaanza tena mbunga eh, Brighton Otieno Amos anapiga ndefu mpira mvande mvande unakaa nje goal kick mimi nakwambia hapa kauleni piga dua na tia dua na utamu Wewe. Utamu wa mchezo angalia mashabi kutafikiri hakuna dalili yote ya manyunyu. Hawatikisiki ni kama miamba. Eh? Hawatikisiki. Wewe ndio umekuwa katika mwezi wa mfungu. <laughs> Piga dua rafiki yangu. Anaitia, naitia dua. Aya, katikati anateleza vizuri kabisa pale Ek, Anthony Omondi. Kiwiko cha mguu kulia unaona wanaonana sana pale Collins Otieno, Brian Amadi na Collins Omondi. E, viungo wa timu hii ya Pascalanga wanaingia tena kule obunga kwenye lango hatari kule baba 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 ba, ba, gol nini cha ajabu ni kwamba cha ajabu ni kwamba wachezaji wa langa uh -huh. uh, waliacha walifikiri ni offside ndio niliona baadhi yao kinyosha mikono wali, hata na mimi huku niliko nilifikiri ni, ni offside na kotangazia ndio uh, referee akasema tuendelee unaona wanalalama mpaka sasa hivi lingefungwa bao lenye utata Le, imekuwa ni offside ama imekuwa nini maana kinaona angalia Mimi naona kama ah, kwa alisukuma twende. Eh. eh. Ah goalkeeper wa ndo anaudia siri kweli. Cheza na referee. Cheza na kipenga. Sikiza kona anapiga ubunga. Dakika ni 38 zinasalia dakika saba. Kipindi cha kwanza kutamatika. Bado ubunga anaongoza moja Pascal Langa sufuri. Wale ambao wanatupata kupitia Radio 47. Asanteni sana. Wale ambao wanatutizama huku wakitusikiza kupitia runinga ya ya TV 47. Vile vile tunawashukuru na wanajionea ya. hali ya hewa ilivyobadilika Kisumu. Ndio. Mm. Na si kawaida bwana. Mawingu yamefunguka. Eh? Mawingu yamefunguka bwana. Haya, anaanza tena goalkeeper pale. Eh referee anasema Ikabu. Utakuwa ni mpira wa Ikabu naam. Wanaanza tena kule Odek William. Anarusha kule kumtafuta beki namba jezi namba 12 huko. Anakosa kuwajibika kiwiko cha mguu kulia kinagawa ngoma ile. Na papa Fred Balos wetu hapa Kisumu ndio uh, Europa anaitwa engineer Steve Mweresa ndio e, amefurahi kwa kweli yupo katika uwanja huu. Anasikiza matangazo. Anasikiliza akitizama. Ala. Asante sana Balozi. E, kumbuka Radio 47 tuko na Balozi kila eneo inamaanisha kwamba tunafika e, kila eneo la nchi ya Kenya. Na kata dakika ya 40 na chungulia chungulia lango kule nani? Goalkeeper anachukua. Na 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 natamani na sana kusikia makocha wa timu zote mbili watawaambia nini wachezaji wao wakati wa half time haswa namna ya kucheza wakati wa mvua. Dio. Na hilo ndio swali pia tutamuuliza Omana. Kweli atatueleza. Changamoto ya kucheza wakati wa mvua. Eh mvua inanyesha nini na nini? E, na pia atatueleza. Yeye hapa anasimama na timu gani? Ah hilo ni swali wewe nawe. Hilo ni swali wewe nawe. Ah lakini ah, yeah, yuko, yuko anaweza kuwa labda yuko, yuko langa. <laughs> eh yuko langa. Hilo ni swali? Eh. <laughs> Tunajua yuko pande gani hapa? <laughs> Katikati <laughs> wanatamalaki sana hapa vijana eh, wa Pascal Langa. Mm, Mara kile ile bao walifungwa mapema sana limewashtua. Ndio. Eh, walikuwa unsettled lakini baada hapo wameanza kurejea. Wakarejea kabisa. Na ndio kitu ambacho nilikuwa na hofia sana na timu hii ya Pascal Langa kutamalaki pale katikati. Manake nilikujuza hapo awali mechi yao dhidi ya bandari e, walimsakama sana yule Mbarak Chale ambaye ndiye alikuwa e, ufunguo wa timu ya bandari youth pale katikati manake vipimo vyake Joseph Ochieng, Bill Clinton na Anthony Amadi uliweza e, kumnyamazisha sana yule e, mchezaji Mbarak Chale ambaye nadhani tu ndio mchebabi wa wachezaji ambao walitajwa kwenye kikosi ch e, kile cha bandari youth kuungana na timu ya All Stars. Yaja kwenye lango, anabisha tena ubunga. Kitu kinajipinda, nini? Hatari wapi? Kona. Eh manake hicho kikosi na chokitaja cha All Stars kitakwenda Hispania. Ndio. Na usisahau Arocho pia tunani kama nilivyokueleza tuna senti timu yenye nidhamu, mfungaji bora na pia nilikueleza unaweza ukahama star 544 hash. Uh -huh ukapata simu ya kisasa na ukafuatilia live uka stream matangazo haya na ukaona mvua kubwa inaonyesha Kisumu Asante sana do do 
Hali si hali hapa um, mtazamaji. Hali si hali uwanja mvua inanyesha lakini bado tu eh, wale ambao labda mara nyingi hawapendi kuoga ndio naona tayari washachukua maeneo yao lakini sisi wale ambao ni samaki bado tupo dakika ina katika moja bado hamna bao upande wa timu ya Pascal Langa naye mwana Obunga anaongoza lake moja eh, ni mambo mazito studio inabidi na hama eh, msikilizaji mtazamaji studio ina hama lakini hatutokosa kuweza kuletea matangazo haya e, manake tukitoa ahadi tunatimiza ahadi mashallah mashallah yale yale aliyopata naivasha wakati wa mashindano e, ma, ya ma, mashindano ya safari rally eh e, namna gani namna gani no. bado tupo ama Tusonge songe basi kule. Songe songe jamani. Balai. Bala, bala. Eh, ni mambo ma Wewe Eh licha ya kwamba mvua ya ajabu mvua ya ajabu yeah. eh, labda Omala mechi inaendelea mvua inanyesha kwa mtizamo wako hii mechi itaadhiri vipi mechi eh, hii mvua itaadhiri vipi mechi nasema goal sahi mpira utakuwa unakimbia unapata sasa Kisamo wako eh baada ya mechi yako jana eh labda Omala mechi inaendelea mvua inanyesha kwa mtizamo wako Mechi itaadhiri vipi mechi? Eh, hii mvua itaadhiri vipi mechi? Eh nasema goal sahihi. Mpira utakuwa unakimbia msikilizaji ambaye labda ndiye anaungana nasi. Anapata sasa historia yako fupi na eh, hii safari mengi kwa Dimba ni ipi? Eh. Endelea, endelea tu. Hii mchezo ya cha Dimba imeonyesha tena talanta yangu. Imenipa exposure kubwa. E, mpaka mali niko mpaka saa hii na bado ndio maana naifuatilia so labda ilikuwa ni mwaka gani ambapo basi e, kwa faida msikilizaji ambaye labda haielewi e, ni mwaka gani ambao ulicheza michuano hii na ulifunga mabao ngapi na ilikuwaaje e, ilikuwa 2019 e, nikiwa na Manchester United e, nilifunga mabao nilikuwa top scorer top scorer regionals top, top scorer nationals nikapata chance ya kwenda Spain e, nikapata Makocha huko alinipea training poa. Nikarudi kurudi nikapata timu hapa Kenya Western Steamer. Na kwa wale labda vijana chipukizi ambao wanakusikia kwa sasa, e, utaweleza nini e, kuhusu hii michuano cha Padimba na labda siku za usoni unapangia vipi? Juzi tumesikia labda e, kulikuwa na fununi ya uhamisho wako. Tuanze na kwa wale vijana chipukizi unaweleza nini? E, kwa wale vijana wanataka vipaji vyao vionekane na naweza waambia watie tu bidi na wakipata fursa ya kucheza cha Padimba maybe makochezo wao wa, 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 wa pewe fursa wajionyesha hapa juu ini platform kubwa ya kujionyesha na maybe mwaka zijazo watakuwa kama mimi Ay, na, eh, labda kauleni huyo ulianza labda hu, hukumuliza mwanzo jana alikuwa wapi kuna shughuli ameipiga eh jana alikuwa nzoia league match tulishinda 3-1 kafunga bao moja nikaongeza mabao zangu alifunga goli jana manake walipata ushindi e, wa matatu kwa moja na kuisukumiza zaidi timu ya Nzoia kule chini na labda Omala e, kuna ahadi ambayo Arocho alitoa Arocho alitimiza ahadi ama Arocho ni mtu wa kelele <laughs> bado lakini najua atatimiza tu bado Arocho atatimiza <laughs> bado bado <laughs> jamani ngoja ngoja ama ama Omana hajaelewa swali 
Ah, kuna ile akiwa um, top scorer eh. mwaka msimu jana sio? Ilikuwa msimu jana. Alikuwa studio sio? Bao nikifunga bao ya taifa, nikifunga oh, timu ya taifa. Oh, unasema ile nilikupa ahadi ya kufunga bao la timu ya taifa. Hiyo yeah. bado. Ah, Lakini bado. Kuwa... Na ile ya kwanza <laughs> ile nilitoka kidogo lakini Ana kila Rocha alikuwa amekuahidi kitu. Mabao 26. Lakini Rocha alikuwa amekuahidi kwamba ukiishia kuwa mfungaji bora wakati huo atakupa kitu fulani alitimiza. Baada ya tukuongea. Anasema unajua e, mwanzo haku hakuwahi lakini bao la timu ya taifa nilikuahidi kitu. Kabla utoke Kisumu utapata hadi ya Rocho. Anashukuru. Asante sana omba la kuweza kuongea na radio. Rocho, transaction utatumia simu gani? Eh? Kwa sasa sina simu. Lakini nipo bado nipo tena sana. Asante sana Omala. Thank you. Eroke kwa kuweza kutembelea studio za Radio 47. Na, na ndugu huyo mwasiliana ambaye amekwenda mali? Ya, yeah, yuko poa. Eh, akukaribu kumaliza wakati wake huko. Uh, after hapo tutaona deal sapata juni Academy. Unajua akitoka huko hizi kosa deal. Thank you. Benson Omala mshauri. Thank you Omala. Thank you very much. Ambacho ni kizalio cha mashindano haya. Ziliongezwa dakika tatu Eh ubunga bado anaongoza bao moja langa sufuri. E, ziliongezwa dakika tatu tumemaliza mbili. E, tutakuwa tunakwenda zetu half time na kujitayarisha zaidi kipindi cha pili. Bao lake ogutu. Dakika sita linawapa uongozi vijana hawa wa ubunga. Hassan Mwana wali na Papa Freda Rocho tumeshuhudia nusu finali ya kupendeza kipindi cha kwanza na Kevin referee anapolisha kipenga kuashiria kumalizika kipindi cha kwanza e, ambapo bunga wanaondoka na uongozi mwembamba wa bao lake ogutu papa freda rocho kabla hujapumzika kidogo ndio turejee kipindi cha pili tathmini yako ya first half ni ipi ama kwa hakika kocha wa bunga alifanya homework akahakikisha kwamba ile midfield ya timu ya pascal langa alikata ile supply ya kule mbele haikuwepo lakini nadhani basi pia kocha wa timu ya la, uh, Pascal Langa ataenda kufanya marekebisho ma, 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 ma ili kuweza kuinoa noa kiungo chake ambacho uh, kipindi cha kwanza hakijakuepo kwa hiyo asante sana Freda Rocho mimi ni Hassan mwana wali tunapumua kidogo tu mtazamaji wa TV 47 na msikilizaji wa Radio 47 ikiwa ubunga goli moja Langa sufuri tunarejea baada ya muda mfupi kuzungumza na wadau mbalimbali usicheze mbali unga robo Na sawa na kupata tuendelee Haya kumbuka mtazamaji wa TV 47 na vile vile msikilizaji wa Radio 47 tupo mjini Kisumu Dala
tunashuhudia finali ya Chapadimba na Safaricom haya yakiwa ni makala ya awamu ya nne hivi tunavozungumza hivi tunavo awa hivi tunavozungumza ni kwamba ubunge wanaongoza bao moja sufuri bao lake ogutu kunako dakika ya sita na mpaka sasa hivi e, huenda likawapa shilingi milioni moja jambo la kwanza pili tunasubiri kuona ni wachezaji wangapi ambao watateuliwa e, kuelekea wa si kwa, kuelekea kule e, uispania tunazungumzia mashindano ya ulsa na kingine ambacho pia tunasubiri kujua ni nani atatangazwa kuwa goalkeeper bora wa mashindano haya e, ambapo ataondoka na shilingi zake 1500 nani atatangaza kuwa mchezaji bora MVP shilingi zake 1500 nani atakuwa top scorer kujua kama kweli hali itakuwa ni hali mvua imekuwa kubwa mtazamaji na msikilizaji mvua inanyesha mvua kubwa sana sana e, katika uwanja huu wa Kisumu tunasubiri refari atakaporejea E, manake huwa wanaudundisha mpira. E, ukidunda mpira radi hiyo inapiga. E, ukidunda mpira uwanjani unachezeka. E, usipodunda uchezeki. Pasikilanga bado wanazo dakika 45 kurudi kipindi cha pili na unaweza ukajionea zile highlights jinsi kipindi cha kwanza kilipokuwa pia alifunga bao ambalo nahisi pia e, walijichanganya wale mabeki wa Langa na katika kule kujichanganya wabunga wakapata bao ambalo litawapa hii milioni ikiwa mambo yatamalizika hivi mtazamaji wa TV 47 na msikilizaji wa Radio 47 Sante sana nyie ndechegua kuwa nasi siku ya leo Jumapili kutoka mjini Kisumu eh, Rongai Okisai Evans sio hali ya hewa namna gani huko Nairobi eh, labda Mombasa Eldoret na kwingineko manake hapa Kisumu asikudanganye mtu ehe ni mvua kubwa ajab mvua ya kutisha
Na safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali. Ni kwa nisani kama kumi na pia ni kwa menua meni bus. Meni bus ni koniwa. Mm. Kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee. Soma Biblia ama ingia kwa washroom ujisugue. Eh mpaka nimeletoa hii. I don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field. Sijajua bado. Kila Alhamisi pamoja nusu kuendelea. Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking... Nowadays with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hard-working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali ni kwa nisani kama kumi 
na pia ni kwa menua mini bus mini bus ni koniwa mm. kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisugua eh mpaka nimetoa <laughs> hivi i don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field sijajua bado kila alhamisi pamoja yusu kuendelea Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking now it is with the tech, uh you can check on different websites uh or or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration so at least that one would be a direction already i'll know like what kind of style you you're going for to finishing touches witness the dedication of the hard working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality the realtor tuesdays at 6:30 p.m. <laughs> katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi na pia nilikuwa menua mini bus mini bus ni koniwa kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisugua eh mpaka nimetoa hivi i don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field sijajua bado kila alhamisi pamoja yusu kuendelea Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking now it is with the tech, uh you can check on different websites uh or or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration so at least that one would be a direction already i'll know like what kind of style you you're going for to finishing touches witness the dedication of the hard working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality the realtor tuesdays at 6:30 p.m. <laughs> katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi na pia nilikuwa menua mini bus mini bus ni koniwa kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisugua eh mpaka nimetoa hivi i don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field sijajua bado kila alhamisi pamoja yusu kuendelea
Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking. Nowadays with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hardworking teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi mm -hmm. na pia nilikuwa nimenua mini bus mini bus ni koniwa mm. kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom ujisuke <coughs> mpaka nimetoa <laughs> hivi i don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field sijajua bado kila alhamisi saa moja nusu kuendelea Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking nowadays with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hardworking teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m.
na safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi na pia nilikuwa nimenua minibus minibus ni konua kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisuke mpaka nimetoa hii I don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field. Sijajua bado. Kila Alhamisi saa moja nusu kuendelea. Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking now it is with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hard-working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. <laughs> safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi na pia nilikuwa nimenua minibus minibus ni konua kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisuke mpaka nimetoa hii i don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field sijajua bado kila alhamisi saa moja nusu kuendelea Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking now it is with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hard-working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. <laughs>
safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi na pia nilikuwa nimenua mini bus mini bus niko niwa kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisuke mpaka nimeitoa hivi I don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field. Sijajua bado. Kila alhamisi pamoja nusu kuendelea. Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking now it is with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hard-working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. safari hii katika mfahamu kiongozi tutakuletea viongozi aina mbali mbali nilikuwa na nisani kama kumi na pia nilikuwa nimenua mini bus mini bus niko niwa kushinda unaangalia simu ya mzee soma biblia ama ingia kwa washroom kujisuke mpaka nimeitoa hivi i don't know whether any of my children would want to get into the political field sijajua bado kila alhamisi pamoja nusu kuendelea Join us on a journey through the concrete jungles and rising skylines where every beam, every nail tells a story of progress and vision. In every aspect of life, you know, you have to look at several dynamics. From groundbreaking now it is with the tech, uh, you can check on different websites. Uh, or, or you check uh, online and you can see some inspiration. So at least that one would be a direction already. I'll know like what kind of style you, you're going for. To finishing touches, witness the dedication of the hard-working teams who bring these ambitious dreams to reality. The Realtor, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. <laughs>
dada eh, ambapo tunashuhudia finali ya Chapadimba ikiwa ni awamu ya nne hii uh, ubunga wanaongoza bao moja sufuri bao lake ogutu na katika eneo la kutangazia kuna mti aina ya mtu <laughs> eh, tayari kabisa kujua mbivu na mbichi eh, radio 47 na tv 47 Eh, leo tumeona vituko katika dungu hili la utangazaji papa Frida Rocho ni mambo mazito <laughs> na msikizaji kama ndio unaungana nasi tena tunarejea hewani kulikuwa wow. na mvua ya ajabu hii ya, hii ni mi, mi, maajabu na miujiza cha milecho mwalimu wale hapa eh? haya ni maajabu na miujiza wajua yani ma... yani alafu cha kushangaza wajua ukija uwanjani sasa hivi ukiambiwa kulikuwa na mvua kubwa utakataa mpaka uangalie uwanja ulivyolowa vinginevyo utafikira kukuwa na mvua maana kuna dalili ya jua tena kuna wakati nilimsikia eh inanyosha mikrofoni ya papa fred anaambia kuna wakati wakati but haya obunga wanaingia sasa aha Maji yale anausuia mpira. Ulikuwa unasemaje? Uh, uh, mwenzangu Kauleni, kuna wakati nilimsikia governor wa kaunti ya Nairobi, uh, kaunti ya Kisumu, uh, daktari uh, profesa yule, um, Anyang Nyong, akiongea uh, kuhusu Chan ama Afcon kuchezwa hapa. Lakini leo kwa sababu yuko hapa na ama naibu wake yuko hapa, atamrudishia ripoti amwambie kwamba Kisumu bado haiko tayari. Eh, Manake ukiangalia uwanja, bala. Kipindi cha pili. Ikiwa ndo naungana nasi kupitia Radio 47 eh, na vile vile TV 47. Karibu sana katika matangazo ya finali kombe hili uh, la safari kom chapadimba. Cheza kama wewe. Na inabidi hawa wawili wacheze kama wao. Manake mvua imenyesha mvua ya jabu. Na kitu ambacho kimenifraisha na mashabi kapa kisumu. Ni kwamba mvua inanyesha lakini hawa tikisiki Wako pale pale e, Kweza kushudia Na e, kauleni e, Hapa Kenya Mashabik Sio shida Banake mashabik wepo e, waka, ah. Shida ya kandanda ya Kenya ni kitungine tafauti Manake kweli wamekuja ajab Tumezumza na Olandi Unamkumbuka kutoka Afrika Kusini Akasema meajibia sana idadi ya mashabiki Walofika wanjani kushuhudia finali hizi Na kama ulifosema mashabiki haso eneo hili Wajuu kenda wendo Migori, sondu Zimechezwa mechi tangu miaka hiyo Na kuna mvua, wawa wa shtuki mpaka dakika tisini Zimaliziki, mwazo ni mwona shabiki moja Alivua haso nguwa kawa na Piga lap moja wanjani Piga warm up eh? Watu wa kisumu wana maneno rafiki yangu Na bada hile lapu Basi mvua nayo pia kaenda Ama ni ye alikuwa na katakata makali ya mvua Ilibiri safari kwa mwamuite Uinde kocha wa langa Tunareji ya tena kipindi hichi cha apili Ikiwa basi obunga mwenyeji bada na ungoza Dakika hii ya rubai na tisa Hapa nyuma yetu Kuna mashabi kwa obunga Mashabi kwa mefika Na hii Hii hali mwenzangu kauleni tamlemea sana Mwana Pask Langa Ulikuwa mesema anapiga zile takitaka Tachitachi zake Stani kama zataziweza na mvuhi Na uwa angalia mfano mzuri ni uwa Inakuwa shida Unakubuka likuwa tukua na zungumza na omala Tukiunizana makocha watawambia nini wachezaji wao kucheza kwenye mvua. Manake sasa unamona kochi pale ni kama ametamauka na rusha mikono. Hali imebadilika. Hawezi wakapiga zile touches tena. Itakuwa vigumu. Manake wao ndi wanacheza mpira ule ambao eh, hauto weze kana na mvua hii. Dakika ni hamsini. Wanasema hamsa. Eh, kipindi, kipindi chapili. Atokeza pale eh, kijana Victor Chieng. Na unambiwa hapa na jamaa, Dr. Kipto Vincent, anatizama TV 47, anatusikiliza Radio 47, kwa hiyo tumereja hewani. Umpira tungea uliaza sanane, tungea kuwa saizi, tunelekea kumaliza mechi. Eh, Lakini tumepumzika eh, kama mvua. sanzima. Ba. Mvua bana. Na we ujaloa rocho, we ah. pia nawe naanza kushukushuku. Pia. Nipo nipo tena sana. Ya, naanza kushukushuku. Nipo pia. nipo tena sana. We wajomba zako ni wale umweri. Baada ya ku... <laughs> kuwaiwa jana, sige kubali tena ni waiwe leo. Wali kukausha. 
Eh? Ah, wamekoka osha wale. Haya. Angalia uwanja ulivyo bwana. Na Arocho si kwamba tu mpira inashindikana kuchezeka. Wasosi wangu ni huu, hali kama hii pia mchezaji anaweza pata jeraha baya sana. Baya sana. Na ndio maana ndani labda wangeahirisha mechi hii kwa sababu ya mvua hii ama hali ya unyevu wanjani habari kama hizo zilikuepo kuna mdau mmoja wa shirikisho alikuwa ameniambia haucheseki refari yake enda akaudundisha mpira kawa haudundiki lakini wafagizi wamekuja na vifagio vya aina yake kufagia maji A, wale ambao walikuwa nafagia wale walikuwa na uharibu uwanja huu jamani <laughs> ulisema hivyo ni vifagio vya kisasa ah vile vifagio kweli <laughs> Wale ni ajira tu wanataka. La kutafuta ubwabwa. Walichukua ile bench ile kwa bench ya langa wakaitumia fagia uwanja. Hata utaona mambo. Ndio entertainment hiyo ya Chapa Dimba. moja dakika nyuma kule wanaanza tena kugawa Kevin Dirangu. Anazidiwa mpira unamtoka uko nje. Anarusha tena ubunga. Uh, ni hali ambayo haikutarajiwa mtazamaji msikilizaji uh, sio wengi walitarajia mvua hata mimi kauleni wewe naye hata manake tangu alhamis juma jumamosi tumekuwa tukishuhudia mvua lakini usiku na tulizungumza na mdau akatuambia huku wametia dua wamefunga kila kitu mvua ni baada ya mechi ushona mvua zilikuwa zilikuwa na adabu ala sasa leo hatujui ni mgeni gani huyu katujia hatari kule kwenye lango na timu ya langa kule goalkeeper Arocho eh, mpira, na unajua kukiwa na mvua kitu utaona wakifanya wachezaji wanapiga mashuti yale ya mbali goalkeeper anaweza akatelezwa wakati anakwenda kuchukua mpira ama beki akapigwa na ule mpira na likafungwa bao eh, ni kweli na vile ulivyosema tu pia hapa jeraha uh, itakuwa rahisi sana wachezaji kupata majeraha hapa ah. eh, kwa sababu uwanja ni telezi sikiza Anabisha hey. tena mwana ubunga kule. Mbona naona ubunga ni wazuri sana kwa mvua? Maana ni nyumbani. Eh, yuko nyumbani. Dakika ya msini na tatu bado. Eh, Pascal Langa Sufuri anajaribu daktari kule kwenye namna na, 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 gani? Basi kitu kama hicho. No. Nafasi kama hiyo kawaida hawa wana Pascal Langa huwa wanaishughulikia. Wana eh, Brian uh, Shatei. Huyu ndiye mchezaji nilikuwa nakueleza alifunga nusu finali aka assist bao anaangaliwa sana ni mfungaji wao tegemeo usishangae kumuona kwenye ile timu itakayotajwa ya All Star ndio wanafanya badiliko hapa e, anaingia Clinton jezi moja upande wa timu ya Ubunga anatoka jezi nambari nane Rogers Omondi ambaye alikula njano dakika ya kipindi cha kwanza e, badiliko wanafanya Ubunga e, tuone itakuwaje inakuwa ni kona ile anapata kona nyingine mwana naam umegundua kitu kingine mwanzangu Arocho ni kwamba uh. wameambiwa wachezaji wa timu zote mbili wa avoid pale katikati ya uwanja maji ni mengi sana sasa wanatumia hizi pembe 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 za uwanja sikiza kona anapata ubunga dakika hii ya na nne sekunde ya nne ndani ya Radio 47 na vile vile TV 47 anapata kona mwana ubunga Anadokoa kona tena kule namna gani? Mm. Kipa anafanya kazi kubwa. Anacheza hey, vizuri. Na, ya langa. Eli. Eli. Cheza vizuri kule. Tuone mambo yatakuwaje kabu nyingine. Alipelekwa chini pale. E, mchezaji Blin, Bill Clinton. Kuna wachezaji kama Gentrix Chikangwa. E, unakumbuka David Majak leo tumezungumza na Omala eh, zao la mashindano haya na mwaka huu tunatarajia kuzalisha wengine wengi ambao utawatangaza miaka ijayo Mungu akipenda e, kweli e, ni njia yao hii ya kuweza kujiuza leo na mimi husema mara nyingi maana kulikuwa na tetesi tu kwamba uh, Nairobi wale uh, Young Kings uh, ni kana kwamba walikuwa na mgomo baridi lakini nilikuwa namweleza kocha wao kwamba Mambo ya mgomo baridi unafanya na umekuja sokoni kujiuza. Haiwezi bwana. O ile mechi yao ile ya nusu finali e, mechi, wakipigwa na Langas. Mechi ya Robo. Robo wakipigwa na Langa. E, ni kama kwamba wachezaji kulikuwa na mgomo baridi. E, ile si Dagoret Youth ile tu. E, sio ile naifahamu. Mm. 
Uh, lakini basi nikamweleza kocha kama kuna wachezaji ambao walikuwa na mgomo baridi au nikupoteza tu au wanapoteza lakini ni ya kwao nadhani ilikuwa tu ni shida zao kule utovu wa nidhamu eh uh, nidhamu nidhamu labda kuna wachezaji ambao uh, wali labda kupewa onyo sasa wengine wakaona labda ndio hivyo tu afu wenyewe wajua rocho ni watoto wadogo bado lakini cheza kisha baada hapo lalama eh hey, bwana huko sokoni bwana Mezuka ina inaelekea kwenye lango la timu ya Langa School ana vioga eh. 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 Alifika pale anaitwa Michael Koth jezi nambari 5 huyo piga laza safi pale kumbusha Michael Koth babake Origi eh, mtizame jamana yupo kazini yuko kazini wanasema mwanamme ni kazi Afu kazi ya utangazaji pia ina changamoto zake. Kila tukija kutangaza hivi nyanjani. E, watu wanapita pita na stare zao, vinwaji, njugu. <laughs> Shika vitu vyao lakini uwezi ukaacha mikrofoni. <laughs> Wewe bado itabidi ushikilie tu. <laughs> e, watu wamevishwa jezi za safari kwa mleo bwana. Leo ni safari kwa kila mahala hapa. Uwanja hmm. mzima aidha nyeupe ama kijani kibichi. Naam. Z- wanaanza tena kugawa hapa hapa. Wana Langas anajaribu kuvumburusha namna gani kule eh, Joseph Mweto eh, Benson Aduma alikuwa amedua bado na tamalaki eh, vijana hawa wa Pasklanga kutoka kule Eldoret County ya Wasingishu Paul Atakula kadi ndio Anaitwa Alex An- anakula kadi mm. ya njano pale Asundi ata atasema uh, alimshika uh, alikuwa alimshika hiyo ni kadi mwai mm. alafu jezi yake ni kama hajaanguka bwana eh bado msafi msafi tu uh, alex kamadi sikiza ikabu anapiga ubunga dakika ya 57 sekunde ya 57 saa tu nyingine hiyo kwa semaji kauleni eh jina kamadi hilo kumbuka washington kamadi eh, washington kamadi mm huyo ni kamadi wanapata ikabu wana ubunga Inje ya mstatili upande wa kulia kule anakuja kudokoa Anthony Omondi. E, jezi namba kumi akitizama namna kuweza kuleta ikabu ile. E, hapa nyuma naye kazi ipo. Analeta e, goal kick. Nusura bao la pili lingeumaliza kabisa mchezo. Matumaini ya Langa yalikuwa yanapotea kabisa. Burudani lioje kutoka Jomo Kenyatta Dala mpaka sasa tunasema mkono mmoja wa ubunga unashika ile hundi ya milioni Anabisha tena kule Mwanalanga kulia huku yaja mpira ukijipinda kwenye lango kule anateleza angani uzuri kabisa pale eh, Brighton Otieno Amos na kutoa mpira ule maeneo yake hatari Ikabu nyingine kacheza visivyo anacheza sana huyu eh, kijana Eh, Collins Otieno ambaye ndio mchezaji ambaye naam mwingine ambaye amesalia uwanjani ambaye alikuwa na njano e usisahau Barcelona wamechukua ubingo upande wa ah, nani Nyakach upande wa kinadada eh Nyakach Plateau Queens anajiita Plateau Queens piga kwa Barcelona manne eh finali ya upande mmoja hiyo sasa hapa ndugu zao obunga wanaongoza moja sufuri inakuwa ni balaa mcheza kwao eh eh inakuwa balaa na na naweza nikasema kitu kingine kuna wachezaji hapa Rocho wewe jua kama kuna mvua ama nini jezi zao jagusa tope wala tone la maji Ona. kuna wachezaji kama hao wa starabu kwa kweli mm. wengine wanachafuka lakini yeye wao bado wapo tu dakika ya sitini lisale moja hilo wanafanya badiliko mbili kwa mpigo wana Pascal Langa nikimpisha Kauleni lakini inakuwaje jamani bado sis inakuwa eh mimi niko sawa kabisa eh? aa sijui imekuwaje mm asanta dakika sitini hiyo Burudan 
ya Chapadimba Eh mwanzangu kauleni lisali moja hilo tume eh, lidondoa kwa mtizamo wako kuna matumaini zinasalia kama dakika zingine 30 kuna matumaini paska wa, uh, langa atasawazisha yapo na yamekuepo hofu ni ile tunayozungumzia kuhusiana na hali ya uwanja kutokana na mvua e, manake sio tu kwamba ubunga ni timu ya kutokea maeneo haya labda inaelewa hali ya hewa na hali ya uwanja na hali ya mvua lakini bado nahisi kwamba matumaini yapo na wanahitajia tu nafasi moja hawa langa kuliregesha bao. Kwa hiyo matumaini bado yapo. Muda bado upo sana sana sana. Swali tu ni je watatumia vipi nafasi kama watazipata. Haya. Itachezwa haraka haraka na vijana wa Langa kuelekezwa mdango wa Bunga. Ndiyo, alichezewa visivyo Alitua Bran Shatei e, Jezi nambari tisa Wanjo umetulia ha? Ha, Mashabik sijui wana mm, Wameloa na yepi... Wanaitaji bao ndo wapate joto e, Manake, e, kweli wameloa Mvua ilinyesha mashabik no. e, Hii unambiwa Samaki anashindwa kupumua ndani ya maji Ndo haya tumeona leo Mwona zile karate za kucheza mvua ni hizo Alenga Ah bado pata nafasi mlangoni Joseph Chesa kwa kweli eh, kijana jezi nambari 12 huyu ndiye captain Victor Ocheng eh, amenikumbusha Victor Ocheng akichezea ingwe miaka hiyo Mshambulizi yule mfupi yule eh. Foul kadi Arocho eh, ni kadi hiyo Manake tayari alikuwa ameshahesabiwa. Mm. Ah akaitoa kumbo na basi referee haku ni Jojo Gutu mfungaji wa bao. Mm, haku sita. Mfungaji wa bao Jojo Gutu anakula kadi ya manja. Angalia. Oh, na mkono. Umeona? Ah. Eh, eh, eh. eh, alitumia mkono visivyo Gutu. Kijana wa Mofa huyu. Ah, aliyekosa nusu finali. Michael Olunga Football. Foundation mm, foundation ile ya engineer. Ah, amezalisha pia wachezaji ni mbinu nzuri pia kukuza talanta. Ndiyo. Anakusudia kutengeza kitu kubwa sana kule maeneo ya Kabondo. Ni kaunti ya Homa Bay. Uh, uh, ni kaunti ya Homa Bay ndio. Piga shuti. Uh, eh, tulisema kutokana na hali ya uwanja na hizi mvua na utelezi eh, unapiga vitu vya mbali. E, matarumbeta kama hayo ndo alichokifanya kijana Dennis tarumbeta la mbali tofali lile lakini hakulenga shabaha tunasubiri kujua nani atakuwa goalkeeper bora wa mashindano haya mwaka huu awamu ya nne ya safari kwa Chapadimba nani atakuwa mfungaji bora na nani atakuwa mchezaji bora na timu gani itakuwa na nidhamu ya hali ya juu sana hiyo itaondoka na laki na kategoria si nyingine ni hamsini alf na mpaka sasa tumekuwa na on goals tano tangu tumeanza robo finali siku ya alhamis watu wanajifunga wenyewe yani wachezaji umepiga mabao kwao nyumbani ah, mtu anajifunga tunahesabu mpaka matano haya bunga kumbuka bado anaongoza bao lake jojo gutu ambaye amekula kadi ya manjano wanaingia kupata kona langa mimi najua langas hii langa rocho hii S imepeleka wapi? Ah, langa si anakuru eh? Eh, hii nadhani Langa ni LD, wasingishi kule LD. Eh, kule Eldoret. Hata eh. wao pia wanataka tukule Eldoret. Sasa sijui. Watakuwa natizama jamaa wa TV 47. Sikiliza Radio 47 wajomba kule Chamgei. Wanaitilia dua timu yao imepata kona hapa. Mpigwa mlangoni. Goalkeeper na ucheza, anasukumwa. Cheza kwa kweli goalkeeper anaitwa kijana Odek Welin eh, mwanzangu Arocha analiona lile umbo na urefu wake anamuona kama msudi eh, wenzetu kutoka Sudan Kusini wana kimo kama hicho Itarushwa ngoma kuelekezwa mlango wa Obunga
kubabatiza Ocheno Eh yeah, bala Eh yeah. yeah, anaitwa Brian ndio Eh yeah, dakika hii ya 66 bado ni yale yale obunga moja pask langa sufuri inamaanisha kwamba mechi hii kitamatika hivi basi bingwa anasalia yeah, kuwa eneo la Nyanza mwakilishi wake obunga Uh, lakini kauleni uh, nilitarajia uh, angalau kupata uh, mashambulizi moja mbili kutoka kuubunga kipindi hichi ambacho baada ya mvua lakini sijui kama ameridhika na lile moja ama uh, mtizamo wako ni upi uh, alianza vizuri kabla tulipoanza kipindi hiki cha pili alianza vizuri akitafuta bao la pili lakini tunatarajia langa waje kwa kishindo na hata wengi wameshtuka kwamba ubunga anaongozwa umemsikia hata mwenyewe pita dao uh, akizungumza alisema kwamba alitarajia langa icheze vizuri isumbue kwa kweli na kingine pia Rocho naweza nikasema kwamba hata baada ile mvua nilitarajia timu zote mbili ziliporudi usimamizi wa uwanja ile chaki kuchora uwanja wa uchore ili uwanja uonekane lakini sikuona haya alimradi wachezaji wanaona na wanafurahia sawa mm. nipe nikupe katikati huko Tuliza kwenye kiwiko cha mguu wake wa kulia pale kiungo yule Anthony Omondi Armstrong Omondi eh eh ajitokeza vizuri tena nyuma huko Tamalaki David Nganga kiungo wa timu hii ya Pask Langa anapiga kitu kinakatwa shambulizi sasa anabisha mwana ubunga kwenye mstatili kule eh, lakini mambo yanaenda sege mnege Zamu ni ya mwana Pask Langa kupiga shambulizi dakika hii ya 67 hamna bao kwa mwana Pask Langa mwakilishi uh, wa bonde la Ufa katika awamu hii ya 4 uh, dimba hili la Safaricom Chapa Dimba tarushwa tena nafikiri watasukumana hivi kwa kweli na ikiingia dakika kama 75 uh, kocha huyo ataanza kuiona kama anachukua taji huyo ataanza kuichungulia chungulia mm. na wewe ambaye unatusikiza usisahau kwamba naam chance hiyo ah wepoteza naam wewe ambaye unatusikiza ama unatizama matangazo haya uh, tunakuja kwako kupitia radio 47 na vile vile uh, tv 47 ah. ah, referee amedondoka eh ah. ashangiliwa kwa kweli Alidondoka na akatimka na na natumai bado ana firimbi. <laughs> Wajua ataitafuta labda mfukoni na apate imedondoka. Mashallah. E, inakuwa hivyo tu wakati mwingine pia Bin Adam <laughs> labda uh, lango jicho kajikwa <laughs> lako jicho. <laughs> uh, Mambo yanafanyika uwanjani kweli ndio burudani ya outside broadcast ya 68 dakika ikiwa hadi sasa basi Pascal Langa anapiga shambulizi kushoto anatamalaki vizuri kabisa pale Joseph Muotho yaja huku lakini basi saka saka inabadilishwa obungo anatamalaki Colin Sotieno kumtafuta Armstrong Omondi Omondi katikati huku anasua sua na mpira nilifikiria angewaachia ule mpira akiopiga kwa mwenzie kwa sababu ya hali ya uwanja umeona uwezi ukachenga uwezi uka dribble sio mbona wanatatizika wachezaji wajue uwezi uka hauna muda eh vipasi vipasi moves zile ni vigumu piga mpira kwa mwenzio foul kwa faida langa yeah. ya 70 dakika Huyu ndio Shatea. Ana, anangangana kweli ambao amechezesha ile bao. Mm. Anatafuta sasa nafasi ya ile All Star. Atajwe miongoni mwa hao. Shiku hapa na nahodha. Yeah. Ipate ikabu anapiga langa. Nje ya mstatili ni kama hatua 34 5 6 hivi. Mm. Dennis Okono. Na wanaweka ukuta wachezaji wawili pekee. 
Hawa ubunga. Nadhani kwa sababu iko pembezoni. Mm. Uh, labda hakuona sababu ya kuweka ukuta zaidi ya wawili akituone. Uh, itakuwaje. Ikabu inachezwa. Uh. Uh. Wakati kama huu uwanja nitelezi kuna pasi zingine ukipiga. Uh-uh. Na, na, na pia defense ya ubunga inafanya kazi kubwa sana papa Rocho. Manake langa ambayo imepiwa ikipiga watu kama ni machache manne. Tuliona Dagoreti, tuliona Ebuali. Na naweza nikasema ni kazi kubwa sana ile defense imefanya kuwalinda wale washambulizi kinashatea. E, ni kuhakikisha tu kwamba mipira iji kwa jumla na ndio maana unapata e, haja teseka sana goalkeeper. E, wa, mama Beki wamesema Matisti. E, na hata shambulizi la la maana hatujashuhudia e, wakipata hawa na langas. Eh, mambo mambo yaende vile walivyokusudia. Lisali moja dakika kumi na moja juu yake. E, ni ndani ya Radio 47 na TV 47 tunakuletea matangazo haya ya finali ya awamu ya nne Dimba la Chapadimba. E, moja kwa moja kutoka hapa jiji la Kisumu. E, eh. Aya. Tuone itakuwaje. Ya sabini na mbili dakika mizuka yaja. Penda sana mipira ya juu. E, mchezaji huyu David Nganga. Aya unona. Ha? E, hali ya uwanja hapo. Yali tukua tunazungumza. Mchezaji anakwenda maji yanabaki na mpira. Inakuwa ni balaa tu. Dakika hii ya sabini na mbili. Kipindi cha pili ni ndani ya Radio 47 na TV 47 Ali Hassan Kauleni pamoja nami Arocho ikiwa tunakuja kwako Kenya Kenya kutoka jiji la Kisumu. E, na basi Tuone mambo yatakuwaje. Unaona foul ni kama alimtega alikuwa anapoteza ule mpira akaona uh, simwachi huyu mjomba. E, na fanae na akacheza rafu na ameingia mchezaji wa Kiba huyu. Haya. Sabini na tatu dakika bado. E, mambo mazito. Mambo yanakuwa mazito. Sikiza ikabu. Namuona kocha wa Pascal Langa. Yale matamshi yake kidogo sasa yanapungua pungua. Ya takuja kumponza. Manaki unakumbuka alikuwa anazungumza anasema e, e, hasungumzi na vyombo vya habari anazungumza uwanjani. Wakati huo alikuwa anazungumza kabla hajacheza na Ebu Ali. E, na waka, mambo kwa magumu leo hii waliondoka na ushindi wa magoli manne siku hiyo. Na, na silo tu tumeona wachezaji wengi ambao wanachezea vilabu mbalimbali wakiwa katika mashindano haya uh, baadhi yao wamerudi kutoka Talanta Hela walikuwa kule Hispania tunaona wanacheza baadhi wanacheza ligi hapa nyumbani umemwona ule wanyama ambaye tumemwona na timu ya bandari na kwa hiyo nataja makusudi nikijua kwamba anajua hata kama ataupoteza huo mchezo kuna baadhi ya wachezaji wake watatajwa kwenye ile All Star ya kwenda Hispania ama kuna makocha unakumbuka kina Keno Jambo wapo hapa technical director yule federation nafikiri na, na wanaangalia vitu kama hivi bwana. Haya. Kuna mtarajia pia kocha mkuu wa timu ya taifa. Fahamishwa hayupo e, nchini. E, ndio maana hakufika. Ndio maana akamtuma TD. Amemtuma e, msaidizi wake Keno Diambo. Oh, uh. Ya 75 dakika. Tunachuna dakika, tunachuna lisali moja dakika 15 juu yake. Ubunga moja pask langa sufuri. E, niweze kumpisha mwenzangu e, Kauleni naam aweze kupatia fungo hilo lijalo na umesalimiwa na teneja Vincent Voyo ah, asante e, sana hakutaja anasikilizia ama kutazamia wapi e, lakini jua tu kwamba anafuatilia shughuli hii asante sana Vincent Voyo alikuwa Hispania juzi e, baadhi ya vijana chipukizi watangazaji ambao e, watashika mikoba hii kwa muda mrefu maana anazidi kuwa sana Vincent Voyo
Dakika sabi na tano, tunaingia robosa ya mwisho ya mchuano. Langa waliregeshe goli ama ubunga wachukue yu milioni. Na kutangazwa machampioni wa safari kwa chapadimba awamu ya nne. Kumbuka mashida nuhaya ilishikwa na kigugumizi. Kigugumizi kilichotokana na janga lile la uviko kuminatisa kwa mana COVID-19. Ndo mana lada makajana na juzi. Atukujua nani ndo championi. Kone na chezwa ya langa. Gorki pana wai. Hala. Bao. Bao. Wana liregesha langa. Anaitua Alex Kamadi. Bada mwenzangu wa rocho kunipokesa microphone. Kumbe mimi ndiye kismat cha langa. Alex Kamadi. Goalkeeper Odek William Atajuta. Goalkeeper Odek William alikuwa nafanya nini? Aliudaka mpira. Akaachia kama vile kala moto wa mpera. Wanja unanyama mtizamaji na msikilizaji. Angalia, goalkeeper Odek ameuchukua mpira na Arocho nilikwambia kwamba nimemwona jana wakicheza nusu finali dhidi ya Ibwali. Ndio. Ana madoido mengi sana na alikuwa pia anajibizana na marefari kwa ukali wake. Huu ni mfano mzuri. Pale ameuwai, ameushika mpira, hakuna tishio lolote, ana utema, bao linapatikana, ataathirika kisaikolojia, lakini naweza nikasema amewapa zawadi sana langa kijana William. Moja moja mtazamaji msikilizaji. Umeniuliza mtu mfupi uliyepo kama watapata bao na swali lako linajibiwa. Unasema matumaini yepo. Ah, kazi ipo. Ah. Unafikiri nini kinampitikia akilini sasa hivi na umri wake kijana huyo bado shule ya upili na ni finali umati kama huu kuna milioni moja na labda yupo katika kuania tuzo ya kuwa goalkeeper bora haya mashindano kisha lile ni bao ambalo linachafua kabisa CV yake. Mwanzo uh, yeye itabidi aisahau uh, taji hilo la goalkeeper bora uh, maana itakuwa vigumu sana yeye kuweza uh, kutunukiwa Uh, taji hilo kwa sababu ya yale ambayo ametokitokea uh, dakika chache zilizopita lakini uh, uh, kwa yale ambayo yanampitia uh, katika fikra zake kwa sasa uh, anaona kwamba labda ameachilia ame timu ameweza uh, kuachilia uongozi na itabidi tu basi ajipige roho konde manake zinasalia dakika zingine 12 ambazo lazima ataweza kujituma ili kutetea timu yake hii ya ubunga wa waswahili wana, wana kitu wanaita marueruwe ama ile inaitwa chelewa chasi nzuri obunga chelewa ni ile hangover ile arocho labda kesha vilabuni sasa asubuhi marueruwe na usingizi na chelewa ndio mashabiki wa obunga hawaamini wanaiona hiyo chelewa sasa hivi manaki walikuwa nakaribia sana kuondoka na ushindi na hata kama ni kufungwa hawakutarajia litafungwa bao jepesi kama hilo e, imekuja kwa uraisi sana Uh, na ndio maana nasema kwamba itabidi goalkeeper ajipige roho konde maana mara nyingi baada ya kufungwa bao kama ile haitochukua tena nafasi nyingine ama itachukua muda mrefu kabla kufungwa uh, nyingine kwa sababu sasa kidogo unatatarika wasiwasi unakuingia na hata ukiangalia mashabiki kwa sasa uh, hali ya simanzi hawana raha mashabiki hawa e, walikuwa wanasema kwamba chukueni taji la kina dada nyakachi e, lakini la wavulana mtuachie sisi langa amweze mkayachukua yote na nyakachi na ubunga walikuwa naambia mchezaji wao kama hakutunzwa utuzwa na, na, na katika mpira tumeona mambo kama haya papa Fred Arocho kwamba amefanya kosa kama ile Odek William alafu mechi inakwenda kwenye matuta ya penalti na ana kama penalti mbili tatu analitakasa jina itakuwa na jikomboa ikiwa atafanya hivyo lakini uh, itabidi tusubri uh, tuwe na subra mpaka dakika hiyo ya tisini dakika hizi kumi na moja zilizosalia kwa sasa uh, itakuwa kila mmoja hajui E, mambo yatakwenda vipi dakika hizo zinazosalia tumebakiza dakika kumi, tumalize tisini. kumbuka saa tano na nusu ilichezwa fainali ya watoto wa kike na mabinti wale wanyakach e, platukins wakalitoa taji kwa kuizidia ubavu Barcelona ya kutokea kule kati huyu Fredo Wino sasa alikuwa anatazama kopo lake la Saile first half Ameruka mpaka uwanjani akashangilia na timu yake ilipoleregesha bao. Mechi ilianza saa lakini wakati na kwenda mapumzikoni e, tulichukua karibu dakika 45 kukiwa na mvua kubwa kweli kweli. Sasa hivi angalia uso sasa unangaa, uso una mafuta. 
kutokana na goli hilo e, miungu inajibu maombi yake bao moja kwa moja kutoka Jomo Kenyatta na mwelekezi wa huu mchuano anaichukua sana sura ya wino kocha yule wa Langa na huyu ndiye kocha wa Ubunga da yeah. anaitwa Ivan Sokech mm. team manager wake ni Chono Kelo Eh, kocha. kocha ava, kofia ni eh, kocha wa Langa eh. Eh, eh, TV 47 kwa hiyo ndo kituo chake eh, ndo kituo chake ndo maana wamevalia kofia rasmi kwa hiyo inaleta kismat eh, safi kabisa <laughs> ah, sikujua mmefanya bonge bonge la branding eh, kazi ipo maana kila kitafutwa na kamera Felix amefanya kazi mno. TV 47 amefanya kazi radio basi unge, ungempa jezi ya radio 47 kocha wa nilimpa nadhani ame Sijui kwa nini ame mvua ile. Eh ameivalia ndani lakini limpa. Wanafanya badiliko. Ogutu ametoka yule mfungaji wa bao. Hawa ni wanaobunga. Na akaingia Collins. Eh eh. Akaingia Collins. Collins Omondi. Leo unasema Rocho Obunga wanapiga shoot lakini anaupoteza ule mpira. Anaitwa Brian Omondi. Jezi nambari tatu. Ah watoto wapo shughulini wapo kasini. Lineups zetu leo zililoa. Tarakilishi kompyuta zote zikaloa. Mvua ilivamia ili studio hapa. Na Rocho huku beba kabuti ulikuja tu na vest. Sasa kama tayari si wale jamaa washanifanya mambo. <laughs> eh mambo yanasema Rocho ni kwamba Obuga offside. Eh, jenga kibanda mjio wenyewe. Anaambiwa leta mpira. Eh jana Rocho wakati anazungumza na mashabiki wa Ubunga baada ya kupata ushindi mechi ya nusu finali e, wakati anaruka ruka na mikrofoni ya TV 47 na wao wanaipakata na kuipiga sachi mifuko yake na ile pekisheni wakaondoka na simu ya laki nane uchunguzi unaendelea picha angavu alinaswa yule kijana ndio e, wakati wote tu habari utazipata kuna watu wa kuibia na kuna watu wa kutoibia. Umesema atageuka jiwe yule kijana baada ya wiki moja. Sio mambo ya jiwe. <laughs> Atanaswa. <laughs> Piga shoot chini kwa chini. Langa. Eh wanataka kumaliza mchezo wataki penalty eh. Angalia alivyokachilia shoot safi. Eh eh eh. eh. Ananikumbusha kina Kortok. Haya wanaanza kupiga mashuti ya mbali vijana e, ni kama Langa washajua ya baada ya lile e, e, tukio la goalkeeper kuweza kutema ule mpira na kupata bao kwa wana Pascal Langa sasa wana Pascal Langa umeona huyu kipa basi kabla ajirejeshe e, e, katika mechi apigwe la pili tumpe 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 mashuti ambazo labda anaweza changia bao la pili hapa e, kiongo hiyo alikuwa anatafuta goli amenikumbusha ile miguu yake ya milonjo na kile kimo chake nikawa naona kina shikokoti wa miaka ya nyuma watu bala kweli mji wa Kisumu dala ndipo uwanja wa mambo leo Jomo Kenyatta ndipo microphone ni ya radio 47 bonge la radio hapa ndipo na tv 47 unaona nyuso hizi zimesharabu waswasi na wekundu Walikuwa wanacheka na kutabasamu dakika 15 zilizopita. Sasa hivi wameingiwa na mchecheto kwa kweli maana inaelekea tutaingia changamoto ya penalti. Na katika finali yoyote ile robo finali ama nusu finali kocha huyu atakwambia vijana wake wapo tayari kwa lolote lile. Tisini bila goli penalti wa vijana wamefanya mazoezi. Uh, ni kweli na Kongole tu kwa wana Pascal Langa bana yake ukiangalia uwanja huu kwa sasa ni uwanja ambao ni telezi ni uwanja ambao utakuwa ni vigumu sana kuweza kucheza na e, wanawafahamika sana kwa mipira yao ya gonga gonga e, ndio obunga pia wanapiga gonga gonga mechi zao ambazo wamecheza hapa lakini ukitazama mechi ya Pascal Langa juzi unapokuwa unacheza na bandari ama kwa hakika tulishuhudia mpira wa aina yake na leo tulikuwa tunatarajia yale lakini kwa sababu ya e, mvua hii E, nadhani sasa imebidi kocha wa timu ya Pascal Langa kuweza kubadilisha muundo wake. Dakika bado nne. Huyu kocha wino wa Langa alipokuja mahojiano siku ya Alhamisi baada ya kushinda robo finali, hatukujua atafika finali wakati anavishwa ile kofia TV 47. Ndio. 
sasa angalia amefika finali hawana raha mashabiki wa asilimia kubwa ni mashabiki wa ubunga wamejisheka tama wanafuatilia pia kwenye simu zao streaming ile ukibonyeza star 544 hash unaingia kwenye lipa mdogo mdogo e, unalipa mkopo wako taratibu na unapata simu ya kisasa kama wajomba pale kona ubunga ana ujebu mpira Dennis ataucheza kwa mara ya pili kona nyingine kumbuka lango alifunga bao lao kutokana na kona labda kitakuwa ni kismat hiki cha ubunga e, wanaitafuta bao lile la ushindi kwa Udi na Amber na ukitizama sasa nguvu zote za mwana ubunga ni kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata bao chini ya dakika hizo nne zinazosalia aya kona na kwenda kuicheza Collins Omondi aloingia uwanjani aha Mm, ameingia uwanjani Colin Somondi. Jezi nambari 15. Piga kona. Sasa hivi wabunga wameamka usingizini. Wamelisa kama lango la langa. Ndio. Hawataki kwenda kwenye matuta ya penalti yale. Lakini kufunga rocho tulitarajia langa kwa jinsi ambavyo tumewaona katika mashindano haya. Nam. Tulitarajia watapata bao. bao. Unakumbuka nikisifia sana ile defense ya ubunga kwamba imewadhibiti karibu dakika sabini. Ndio. Uh, tulitarajia na yule ambaye hakutarajia Pascal Langa kupata bao uh, basi labda alikuwa kwenye ndoto maana ukiangalia walivyocheza mechi zao mbili kabla ya leo uh, ni timu ambayo imejituma sana ni timu ambayo ina wachezaji wabunifu na vile vile wachezaji ambao wanajielewa kiwanjani uh, na ndio maana basi hata ulipomsikia dao alisema wengi walijua Langa uh, tatamba manake Dagoretu alichunwa nao Ebwali wakapigwa nao manne kona itakuwa Gol kick anasema referee Kevin. Uh, Asante sana. Na wapata asani bwana Radio 47 na TV 47 nafuatilia Ibrahim huyu. Anaitwa Ibrahim Joshua. Mwana taxi. Haya wanapoteza muda langa eh, wanalia kwa kweli hapo bunga. Hasani Eh, masaibu ya Pascal Langa kufunga. Ingawaje inanyesha mpaka Kakamega msalimia Rocho. Leo kusafiri na ndugu yako Ndunje. <laughs> ah, Ibrahim Chelule amekusalimu sana bwana. Nimezipokea salamu hizo. Na nasema pole kwa kupoteza simu. Bala. Eh, wapo tayari kufanya juu chini mpaka mwizi atiwe nguvuni. Ule mwizi hakujua amemwibia nani. Ni kama wale waliomuua Lucky Dube ndio baadaye wakajuta wanasema hatukujua yule alikuwa Lucky Dube. Bala. Aya. Anabisha tena kule Pascal Langa pembezoni kule e, mchezaji huyu e, nguvu mpya. E, Kevin Omondi anajaribu tena kugawa ngoma ile ikiwa zinasalia dakika mbili unusu kabla e, ya kutamatisha mechi hii anabisha Pascal Langa. Aha, aha. Kwanza ni mchezaji yule ule tunamuita Shikokoti. Ana mikiki ambayo ni aina yake jamani Tungoje tuone itakuwaje Tutashuhudia matuta ya penalti hapa ama itakuwaje e, dakika hii ya 89 sekunde 29 Haya Da Burudani hii kutoka Kisumu Dala Jamana sema ndio e, mzee mandevu mzee mandevu chairman wa e, twa anasema mm. mchezaji mcheza vizuri atachukua kikombe simu ya rocho iregeshwe mzee mandevu huyo ndio mwenyekiti wa twa twa e. eneo la nilikoni ama ni wapi jomvu e, ndio mwenyekiti tawi la jomvu balozi wa kisumu ana wasiwasi steven mweresi anasema kombe tunapoteza ile tupoangalia Alan Mjela anatizama TV 47 na Radio 47. Tunasubiri kuona zitaongezwa dakika ngapi? Maana yake 90 tumemaliza Rocho. Ni kweli na dakika hizo zinazosalia eh, kwa kandanda ni dakika muhimu sana kwa sababu eh, ndio dakika ambazo zitaweza kuamua kama eh, ni penalti ama eh, eh, kusherekea dakika tisini mshindi moja kwa moja. Aya, dakika tatu. Eldoret Santeni Nyandarua asanteni uledi mwenye injinia anatusikiliza 
anaitakia langa kichwa kijana eh, ambaye ameyatangaza sana ya mashindano anaitwa Muyela anaitakia langa ushindi kichwa naam Harun Toya asante sana wewe ukunambia utakia nani ushindi lakini naelekea tutakwenda penalti kina Hassan Arani na Polisi Rengo wote wanaomba penalti live TV 47 na Radio 47 bado dakika mbili e, zilongezwa tatu kati ya hizo tatu ambazo zimeongezwa tayari tumechuna moja e, ni mechi ambayo ishara zote tu ni kwamba tutapiga makocha wa, wanaonywa e, nadhani pia ni wakati pia makocha wanawakuwapatia motisha. Pressure imezidi. Ni, ni kama hawaamini dakika tatu wanaziona kama chache sana ubunga. Eh, lakini penalti hazina mjanja. Wasiziogope. Na hazina mwenyewe. Hmm. Na mimi upenda sana penalti kwenye finali. Sana sana kama kijana wangu goalkeeper ubunga Odek William anaweza kalisafisha jina wakati huo. Ala, na pia anaweza zidi ku kulichafua zaidi kuchafua ama ah, kuite, kuite, kuiteketeza zaidi <laughs> eh? unajua kwa sasa yeye hayupo hayupo eh. na labda wenzake watamwambia sasa ionyeshe dunia eh, hapo sasa eh, unategemea yale ambaye kocha wake atamwambia yani kuna filamu inaendelea hapa Kisumu unamweleza mchezaji wako kwamba jamani mwenyewe sasa ji, mm. yuze mm. Eh, jiregeshe uwanjani manake atategemewa ingekuwa hatocheza penalti Tungeona sasa hivi mabadiliko yangekuwa yashafanywa ama goalkeeper na wachezaji na sijui kuna nini e, kuna tukio manake naona referee amesimamisha mpira makocha wote wanafoka sijui inakuwaje e, ngoma ngoma fai we inaendelea hii lazima imalizike leo tumesema hakuna mbuzi kuruka kamba inye isinye inye isinye <laughs> liangaze lisiangaze <laughs> iangoa <laughs> inye isinye eh huyu mwanadada hapo awali ah, alikuwa na tension <laughs> lakini mtu shupavu sana Ala. kuna mali alipiga alitusaidia saidia sana <laughs> eh santa ah haya tumesema inye isinye <laughs> <laughs> inyeshe sinyeshe. Ah najua lakini jamani. Ah vile unavotamka hadi usiangoa. Inye sinye. Hai. Hayo ni madara. Kokote alipo Godfrey Mungou. Eh. Ah ametabasamu. Madara ya ulaji omena. Nipakulie omena jana Black Pearl pale. Ala. Eh. Haya. Ah, na watu wanafuatilia rocho bana. Ah, Kangemi Mountain View bana. Radio 47 ndio eh, na TV moja. 47. Na TV 47. Yupo pia chief kutoka Harambe kule Mumias. Huyo ni chief chief eh. ama chief jina? Ah, ni chief chief. Ala. Unamwona CEO wa Safaricom? Ehe. Uh -huh. Ndego mwenyewe. Metiri pia anafuatilia kwenye simu na na ana, anasikiza hey. radio 47 aweza akasema wale vijana waliotangaza uh. waendelee hivyo hivyo ni mmoja wao ampoteza simu <laughs> aje haraka upesi mmoja <laughs> <laughs> wao nasikia alipoteza simu aje haraka upesi wao vijana wanaotangaza asalala <laughs> <laughs> Alafu hapo ndo unaanza kushukuru Mungu. Eh kwa nini ilipoteza simu? Eh unashukuru Mungu. <laughs> <laughs> Maana imekwenda laki 4 unapewa ya milioni. <laughs> Asanta. <laughs> Namuona eh, mrembo wa redio. Eh. Namuona mrembo wa redio. Eh, yuko nasi. O oh, mrembo. Eh, mrembo wa redio. Eh. Unajua wachache sana wa mrembo wa redio. Anaitwa Jerida wa Ende. Ah ndani, tena ndani sana. Huyo eh, pia ni mzazi mwenzangu. Eh, mtu mstaarabu. Mzazi mwenzangu kule Alliance eh. Girls. Ni shemeji. Sasa mimi eh. mkipeleka mtoto wangu Alliance Girls, eh. anaambia alimtambua binti ya Jerida na Simba Mark. Nikamuuliza kwa nini? Anaambia anamjua kwenye mitandao. Ala. Mtoto machochari kama mamake. <laughs> <laughs> Jerida anaondoka uwanjani lakini ni shabiki wa ni, ni langa ama ubunga. <laughs> yeye ye ni Asanta, ubunga. Asanta. Unajua wakati tunasikiza redio. Uh, alikuwa uh, alikuwa bosi wangu pia. Ah ni mtu mstaarabu. Uh, eh, mtu mstaarabu. Dakika inakatika 95. Hili mbani. ndio gumzo walikuwa wanapiga. Uh. Ziliongeza tatu. Uh -huh. Kitu umefika 95. 
Sijui labda kuna kuna kulikuwa na analalamika lalamika amenakuaje. Mm. Angalia mashabiki. Uh, yani hawaamini aswa. Hawaamini. Hawaamini. La, lakini Arocho asilimia sitini ya mashabiki wa bunga tulikuwa tunazungumza nao kabla ya mechi wali, walikuwa wanambiaje walitamani sana wacheze na Ebuali lakini si Langa. Waliogopa sana hii Langa. Eh hey, Langa inaogopeka. Mm. Eh hey, maana ukiangalia vile wanavocheza. Mechi zao hasa mechi dhidi ya Bandari Youth ah Langa walitamba. Inaletwa kule kwenye lalalalalalala nini? Hamna gani goal kick. Ukifungwa sasa hivi bao mpira unakwisha. Ah anaumaliza mchezo referee. Ai na referee. Kipenga kilidondoka. Kiko chini yeye mwenyewe. Alidondoka pia. Mchezo umekuwa na vituko huu. Naam. Sasa ni penalty eh? Ah tunaenda moja kwa moja kwa mikwaju. Ya penalty. Tuone itakuwaje mpira unakwisha mzee Madeva amekwambia ah. si mwenyekiti wa tawi ni katibu mwenezi, mwenezi. Ah, wa, wa kitaifa ni katibu mwenezi eh. wa kitaifa asante eh, sana katibu mwenezi haya asante sana kwa kuwa nasi keroka nyangoya lamek moriasi may the best team win gabriel napita Eh jamaa anaambia mwalimu Toloi mm. Arocho ameibiwa simu. Duh. Eh huyo airegeshe kabla ya chairman wa koti kule Sindo FC hajampigia simu. Ah yule naye balaa. Yule huwa ni haraka upesi haraka stima. Eh. Elas Mongera Meru tunasubiri penalti. Arocho ni penalti ama anacheza 30? Uh, itabidi tutegetege lakini kwa, kwa mtizamo mtiz... wangu na... kwa sababu ya hadi ya anga na nina nini? Na na muda wenyewe. Eh uh, basi itakuwa ni bora tu. Uh, tupige pe... ipatikane iwe ni penalti. Kumbuka unaweza ukapata vipindi mbalimbali vya humu nyumbani kwa kubonyeza star 5 double four star double five hash alafu kaingia kwenye ile base. Eh uh-huh. ile www.bez.co.ke. Ala. Eh utaona waigizaji wa hapa nyumbani wanapata posho lao. Eh kwa muonekano hawa mashabiki. Eh na muona Samu pressure. Chola pia yupo pale. Ah kweli. Eh. Mwenye mwenye. Na muona Samu Chola. Eh, eh pia yupo Kogalo. <laughs> Katibu wa Kogalo. Na muona pia mwenyekiti wa FKF. Eh Homa Bay. Yuko Wapo. hapa. Anafuatilia na yupo uwanjani. Ndio huyo hapo. Hata uh, kupanda ngazi. Ni shughuli. Arocho <laughs> <laughs> juzi linambia nyani alioni nini? Eh? Haya, unasema kupanda ngazi ni shughuli. Shughuli. Eh. First half ilimalizika tukiwa na mvua kubwa. Second half imemalizika kukiwa kidogo na kutulivu. Ndio. Eh mmoja wapo wasaidizi yule Adam na ni mwalimu pia anapiga tabasamu na captain wa ubunga. Ndiyo. Nadhani wanamtegea wanamte tegea na oda wa eh, Langas. Langa. Mm. Eh, ili kuweza kujadiliana labda kama ni penalti utaanza upande gani? Utapigwa kutoka upande gani? Nani ataanza? Eh, nadhani hiyo sasa ndiyo majadiliano ambayo wanajiandaa pale. Kumbuka ni finali eh, za michuano hii. Eh namuona pia Oush. Mm. Ah. Hiyo jezi. Hiyo jezi ilibidi. Eh bala. Haya. Tuone itakuwaje. Emmanuel Wesonga mwandishi yule na Vaholo. E, anasema may the best team win. Na wale ambao pia wanafuatilia shughuli mbalimbali eh EPL Liverpool imepigwa bao moja na Crystal Palace ndio e, dakika 38 mapema mapema mm. najua inawafresha sana wana Arsenal lakini mimi nawakumbusha kwamba bado mapema hiyo na yeye Liverpool ndio ilianza hivi kapigwa juzi na Atalanta matatu ndio 
kwenye Europa. Ile mimi naona ni kama waliachilia. Kwa hivyo unasema hii watatoka nyuma na washinde. Kwa nini nasema hivyo? Kwa sababu ukiangalia uh, mwana Liverpool, ai, tatu. Haya, tunasubiri penalti, tumalize kazi hapa. Ma captain wa timu zote mbili. E, nimemuona pale David Nganga upande wa Langa. Wote jezi nambari 12. Ndio. Ma captain Sadfa ilioje. Victor Cheng na David Nganga. Naam, ni wakati wa kujua hasa tutacheza upande gani na vile vile mambo itakuwaje. Samo Cholo labda aje aseme moja mawili kabla ya kuweza uh, kuenda. Sam karibu sana uh, ndani ya Radio 47. Asante sana. Habari TV 47. Asante sana. Habari Johnny. Tuko poa sana Sam. Inakuwaje huko Kisumu leo? Eh manake mara nyingi tunakuona tuna, tuna Nairobi. Ah leo nimekuja kuona hii chapa dimba ninafurahi sana vile wachezaji wanacheza lakini mvua ndio imetuchelewesha kidogo. Uh, I hope uh, the best team wins today but I'm very happy about what Safaricom has done. Thank you. Umeongea kuhusu eh, mvua hiyo. Eh, uwanja huu uko tayari kuandaa michuano yoyote ya kimataifa kweli? Ah nimeona hapa kidogo stadium ni nzuri lakini drainage ndio hawana. Kitu moja stadium management nataka nifanye ni ku immediately kukuja na kuweka drainage. Juu hata tulikuwa tunataka kuleta international friendly hapa. Lakini kama kuna hii rainy season naona itakuwa ngumu sasa. Haya, mtaileta mechi wakati wa kiangazi. Huyo ni katibu <laughs> wa Gormaea eh, Sam Chola. Asante uh, sana Sam. Sana, Sam. Eh. Penalty ya kwanza papa Fred. Eh, utaichukua wewe? Mimi ndapeana ubunga. Aya. Wewe unipe. Za langa. Ya langa. Aya. Kwa hivyo nafikiri utaanza tusubiri tuone. Nafikiri wataanza langa. Aya. Kupiga penalti. Kwa hiyo umesema nichukue langa. Wewe utanipa langa anavyocheza. Aya. Mimi nitakueleza ubunga wanafanya vipi. Chapa Dimba na Safari kwa awamu ya 4 tupo Kisumu Dala. Obunga goli moja langa goli moja tumeingia matuta penalti Hassan Mwana Ali na Freda Rocho Radio 47 na TV 47 Burden is Burden Ndio penalti ya kwanza Arocho Obunga wako Haya Penalti ya kwanza inapigwa na Obunga e, na muona mchezaji E, Nitakwambia jezi namba ngapi hapa? Anakuja kupiga penalti. Namuona goalkeeper yuko pale tayari kabisa. E, Eli Karanja anakuja kupiga jezi 15. E, nguvu mpya Collins Omondi. Anakuja Collins Omondi beki huyu. Nguvu mpya upande wa timu ya Ubunga. Anaweka mpira chini. Ikiwa hii ni mechi yake ya saba katika michuano hii ya kombe la chapa dimba e, ameanza kule mashinani na leo basi anapiga penalti ya kwanza anakuja kule koleza bana bala bala baga gaga gaga toa ndani obunga moja pasklanga sufuri kauleni ah kazi ipo hiyo imekuwa penalti nzuri sana collins anaipa obunga uongozi kama walivyofanya mchezoni maana walitangulia kufunga bao kijana ugutu langa wakaliregesha sasa nizamu ya goalkeeper wangu yeah. eh jina asafishe jina eh william odek penalti ya langa tuone itakwendaje maana tayari obunga washauliza swali sasa ni langa kujibu vijana kutoka wasingesho kutafuta uchampioni wa chapadimba safaricom kutafuta milioni moja anakwenda kuicheza penalti kila moja anamwangalia yeye hii penalti ya kwanza nkisirani kwa kweli e, penalti ya kwanza wa kisirani mm. manake hapo ndio kila kitu kinaanza penalti ya kwanza kisirani kwa kweli anaitwa Judah Kipleting 
Kipleting. Kipleting, Chamge. Kongoi, missing, Chamge. Kipleting, Didia Odek, William. Kipleting, Tisha. Rohosa Langa, Mkononima, Kipleting. Na, Ana Funga. Penalty Marit Adi Kokweli, Kipleting. Moja kwa moja. Vita vina indelea. Hapo sasa. Aya, penalti ya pili ya napiga mwana obunga. Ah, penalti zote safi. Maridadi. Walifanya mazwezi. Mm. Wakati wamekuja kuanzia robo finali, walijua chochote. Kinaweza kikatokea. Alitokea bench. Aya. Sikiza penalti ya pili ya napiga mwana obunga. E, tuone itakuwa nani ya napewa jukumu hilo la kuweza kupiga penalti ya pili anakuja kupiga jezi nambari kumi na moja huwa ana ehe upande wa timi ya obunga ehe ndiyo John Utieno kama sita kosea ananikumbusha Tony Luanga alipokuwa mchezaji wa chingwe anakuja kule toramana na gaga 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 John Utieno kando na kunikumbusha Tony Luanga mchezaji wa FC Leopards miaka hiyo ya 90 anafunga bao penalti kama ya Tony Luanga Kauleni Tony Luanga alikuwa anapiga penalti kama hizo na leo pia mchezaji huyu eh, John Otieno anapiga penalti sawia na kama ile Kile kipa alifuata arochuata kipa alifuata alifuata sema tu kimo kile ni vile alivyoipenyeza pale mara nyingi mm. kieka alificha kando alificha basi alikuwa anaficha kama Tony Luanga mm. E, vengenevo kilio kingekuwa kimeanza upande wa bunga Sasa nizamu ya langa Mlangoni yupo Odek William Uyu ni nyatea e, Hata bila kuangalia jezi mgongoni Mchezaje ambaye uenda katangazo wa miongoni mwa wachezaji bora wa mashidano hai Mbona na wasiwasi nae Brani shatea Ukimtizama, ukimtizama e. na wasiwasi sana Stu, Mino na ni too confident ah. Ana wasiwasi over. Hii ni over confident Brani shatea Alifunga kwenye nusu finali aka assist ile kwa maana kuzalisha penalti ya pili Bran Nyatea Shatea Kunradi Mchezaji amekuwa na mashindano ya kupendeza sana huyo Mimi naona ile over confidence yake ile Arocho haja songa mbali na ule mpira anajiamini sana Da anajiamini sana anapoteza anapoteza Nilikwambia Rocho Arocho Kauleni Bwana Ali simgaga Rocho Nilimshuku ili sana huyu mchezaji Nilikwambia huyu goalkeeper atasafisha jina Rocho Kando na kujitakasa nilikwambia huyu mchezaji Shatea, shatea alijiamini sana alikuwa over confidence uh, nilimshuku sana Arocho goalkeeper analisafisha jina Rocho Amesafisha Huyu nyatea Hii akipangua penalti nyingine uh. atakuwa hero baada ya kwamba alikuwa shiro kijana alikuwa ashaanza kusherekea bala Bran Shatea Huyu ndiye Odek William aliyesababisha bao amesevu penalti mpaka anatokwa na machozi huenda akawa shujaa kutokana na matuta ya penalti Haya Sikiza penalti ya tatu ya mwanaobunga Ananyanyuka Collins Otieno. Jezi wow. nambari 7. 1 2. Ananyanyuka Collins Otieno. Jezi nambari 7. Eh ananyanyuka Collins Otieno. Lakini sawa. Ah uh, iko sawa haya. Sikiza penalti. Anakuja kupiga Collins Otieno. Jezi nambari 7 upande wa timu hii ya Obunga. Obunga mawili pas langa moja ni penalti ya tatu hii anapiga mwana ubunga haya tuone itakuwaje anapiga bao anapiga bao Collins Otieno Arocho Umeona ile celebration yake? Eh. Yeah. Ya duka buya. Karobangi Sharks wakati huo. Ala. Eh. 
advantage Obunga. Tatu moja. Aya, abu, angalia, utafikiri mtu kaumia mgu. Alafu angalia madoido. Hii, hii alifanyia mazoezi, eh? Angalia madoido na hayo. Sasa, Rocho, this is the most crucial penalty. Itabidi. Eh, wakipoteza hii langa, watakuwa na poteza milioni. The most crucial penalty ni hii. Aya. Na kama goalkeeper huyu William Odek, Ah, ni nguvu mpya. Ni kimuita shikokoti, ni kimuita koritok. Akipoteza hii Rocho atakuwa amepoteza penalti mbili. Bala. Na ubunga watahitajia tu kufunga penalti ijayo wawe machampioni wa safari kom... awamu ya nne. Tupo Kisumu dala, sherehe zimeanza ubunga. Kijana mrefu migu ya milonjo. Langu jicho na utizama ule mpira. Alitokea bench. Collins Otieno. Aya. Piga penalty. Goalkeeper aliufuata mpira. Anaitwa Elijah Moriga. Da. Goalkeeper aliufuata Rocho. Kwa mara nyingine angeipangua ile penalty, angeanza kuwa man of the match goalkeeper wangu Odek William. Aya. Skiza penalti ya nne ya mwana ubunga. Ah, Aliskuma. Ange upangua ule mpira. Angalia. Angalia rocho. Manetua. Aya. Anabati sana. Ipate penalti. Nyingine anapiga hapa. Mwana ubunga penalti ya nne. Kumbuka sasa ubunga tatu. Pascal langas mawili kwa kuwe ambao natusikiza. Ndani ya Radio 47 na wewe vile vile ambayo unatizama kupitia runinga ya TV 47. Safari kwa mchapa dimba. Sherehe. Da. Santa mjomba. Anaituo chicho. Sikiza penalti. Atakuja kupiga hapa. E, jezi namba ngapi huyo. Anavuta pumzi. Amsa kimbo. Songa nyuma kule. Crucial penalty ya. Eh? Ya, yeah. akifunga hii penalti naanza kuapa kombe Obunga. Anakuja pale nini? Jezi nambari 16 kwa Makogo toa ndani. Brighton Otieno Amos. Anapiga na kufunga penalti pale. Huyu goalkeeper wa angalia nyakachi wanawashangilia obunga na hapa nyuma yetu mashabiki wameanza kuimba obunga obunga ilikuwa crucial penalty arocho na nilisema akifunga hii na wapa kombe sasa langa wakipoteza obunga wanachukua ubingwa mm -hmm. langa wakipoteza obunga wanachukua ubingwa Hawezi akapoteza. No margin for error. No margin for error. Obunga. Anaitua Benson Aduna. No margin for error. Benson Aduma. Na unajua uko wasingishu. Papa Fred. Dio. E, wanakuja paka nugusetu kutoka Sudan kule. Uya kipoteza basi. Bala. Lazima funge Aduma. Benson. Angalia ile migu. Migu ya milonjo. Sharuti apunge akipoteza Odek William atakuwa man of the match kama atapangua hii na kulitakasa jina penalti muhimu sana hii ya Langa ananikumbusha kina David Majak wakati wao wakicheza mashindano haya ndio yupo task sasa hivi eh akipoteza basi obunga ndo machampioni aduma Anapoteza! Anapoteza penalti hapa! Obunga! Ndiyo machampioni! Wa safari kwa mchapa dimba! Awamu ya nne kutoka kisumudala! Papa Fred Arocho! Bala! 
nilikueleza kwamba huyo Dek William alijifunga lakini wakati wa penalti atalitakasa jina angalia no. kila mtu anasherekea naye anamfuata huko aliko Dek William Nam ni ushindi mkubwa sana kwa ubunga e, baada ya hiyo penalti na kongoli vile vile kwa wana e, Langas kwa juhudi na jitihada ambazo wameonyesha katika finali hii imekuwa safari ndefu e, baada ya kupata ushindi dhidi ya bandari youth katika nusu finali hiyo jana na hii leo basi e, safari yao inatimia tamati na basi ubunga ni mabingwa wa michuano hii awambu yake ya nne kombe hili la safari kom chapadimba mashabiki wanaingia uwanjani wananikumbusha man city ilipotoa EPL dakika ya mwisho wao wakicheza dhidi ya QPR e, baloteli wakifanya kazi zao wakati huo Roberto Mancini wakati huo obunga ndio mabingwa E, inabidi e, Stewart kuingilia kati kuwalinda wachezaji lakini Arocho nilikuwa nakwambia hii ni filamu written in heaven Odek William kujifunga alafu penalti anapangua penalti mbili anakuwa man of the match miongoni mwa magolkipa bora tunasubiri kujua nani atakuwa golkipa bora wa mashindano haya mfungaji bora <coughs> mchezaji bora timu yenye nidhamu timu itakayokwenda kule a uh, e eh, Uhispania lakini obunga wametoa taji la wavulana nyakati wametoa taji la kinadada jiji la Kisumu alikaliki ni Mbwembwe Hanjam bingu ya saba na ni kweli wamedhibitisha kwamba eneo la Nyanza eh, ama kwa hakika ni ma, mabingwa wa kandanda hapa nchini Kenya na kama ulivyosema eh, nyakati eh, ama ukipenda unasema Plateau Queens baada kuweza kulitua taji upande wa wanadada sasa wanaume kutoka eneo ila Nyanza vile vile wanatua kombe hili kupitia kikosi hichi cha Obunga inaonyesha tu kwamba Kandanda mimi husema hivi ukiuliza swali Kandanda hapa Kenya iko wapi lazima utapata jibu aidha iko e, maeneo ya magharibi ama ma, ma, maeneo haya Nyanza lakini yote tisa kumi kwanza kongole kwa andalizi wa michuano hii kwa kuweza kuandaa michuano ya aina yake na vile vile wa the amin uh, wa michuano hii eh, safaricom kwa kazi nzuri ambayo wamefanya Nam. na wote tu kwa jumla Nam. utulivu mashabik na wote tu ambao wamefika hapa kuhakikisha kwamba hii leo imekuwa siku hii ya furaha arosho cha ziada manake naarifiwa kwamba tumalize matangazo sherehe zitaendelea upande wa digital Shereza kwa tuza washindi labda cha ziada kwa msikilizaji na mtazamaji Nam, na kwanza na ningependa kuwashukuru wote watazamaji na wasikilizaji kwa kuweza kuwa nasi katika e, burudani hii iliyoanza siku ya Alhamisi wakati kikosi hiki cha Cape Media kilipotua hapa tumekuletea habari zote kupitia Radio 47 kupitia Runinga e, hii ya TV 47 e, na basi E, kabla ya kumpisha mwenzangu kauleni aweze kutamatisha na kushukuru tena sana msikilizaji kwa kuweza kuwa nasi na wewe pia mtazamaji ambao umechukua fursa yako kuweza kuitizama runinga nambari moja nchini Kenya runinga ya TV47 na wewe ambaye umetusikiza kupitia radio yako nambari moja Radio 47 hapa ndipo kauleni tamatisha kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana wote waliofanikisha matangazo haya E, tulosafiri nao kutoka Nairobi tumekuwa huku tangu siku ya Alhamisi robo finali nusu finali hadi finali na vile vile wazalishaji wa matangazo haya wapiga picha kikosi kizima cha digital mtangazaji mweza hapa baba Freda Rocho usimamizi mzima wa Cape Media TV 47 Radio 47 Nyakach ndio mabingwa upande wa kinadada na Ubunga ndio mabingwa upande wa wavulana kwa hiyo kutoka hapa mjini Kisumu kwa niaba ya mwenzangu Freda Rocho Hassan Mwana wa Alisina Chaziada nasema Erokamano Oriti